Hey folks, um, before we start this, I just want to tell you, there's a link in the description down below. You'll want to click that and it'll be to the new Loud Equals Funny channel. Uh, after, I think, maybe episode 41 or 42, it's kind of all going there. We've been meaning to do this for a little bit, but with this episode, I'm officially giving you the first warning. Please click the link down below in the description or show notes if you're on podcasting apps. I don't know if I'm going to put this on a podcast version. Or um, in the comments. It will be in the comments down below, but it is to the official Loud Equals Funny channel where, again, after probably episode 42, everything is going forward. So again, Loud Equals Funny, YouTube.com, I think it's slash at Loud Equals Funny or slash Loud Equals Funny. Again, it's on screen. It's down below. Not on screen. It's down below. It's in the description. It's in the comments. Now, back to your regularly scheduled Loud Equals Funny. Welcome to Loud Equals Funny episode 39. We are getting shockingly close to our midlife crisis. That's Damn. right, baby. I can't wait for my Mustang. It's going to be great. I can't wait to start yeah, going these... to fucking high school parties. Hell yeah. These like jokes are just as funny the second time. <laughs> we did not already record this. Yeah, I you know, know. It's very loosely <laughs> scripted. Because <laughs> here's the problem. like the, the capture software will capture the application, but it'll capture the window of the application. So I always have to make sure it's on our chat when we're talking in here because i had it on games and it fucked up <laughs> so, oh that's pretty stupid yeah well you know it's technical issues or whatever to rein in uh episode 39 i'm sick tristan's tired bane I, is I, what's wrong with you i've been uh working a lot and running myself ragged uh, bane's a wagey of... Yeah, outside of podcasting, I've been working 60 hours. Please kill me. It's a Good horrible Lord. nightmare of existence. Welcome, everyone. Dystopia! Hell yeah. We, we got some more dystopia stuff for you. We got some funny. We got some, in loud. a way, tragic. Yeah, some loud, too. Ah, uh, what, what, what have you boys been up to? What, what have you guys been playing? Oh, uh, that's, well, a actually, that's a good question for Claw. Yeah, I specifically asked Tristan before we started. I was like, guess what game I've been playing? I didn't even set that up. That's yeah, by, by the way, I didn't even know. I, I came in a little late. <laughs> yeah, I said, guess what game? And then I'm like, no, we'll save it for the thing. Uh, guess, both of you. It, it, I'll just say it's a slightly contentious series, but also kind of kind of quality. Hmm. Ah, uh, that, that's a tricky one there. I'm, um, I'm going to say... You've somehow been playing the old Alone in the Dark games to prepare for that new one. No, but the um, new one looks pretty good. I'm actually kind of... I liked the little uh, demo they put out a while ago. But uh, I'm going to let Tristan go. Then. Um... Hmm. Da, 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 da. He's thinking on it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like contentious series that I think you would play. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's one that I've spoken negatively of in the past. Yeah. Uh... I don't think that narrows it down that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fucking so... Kingdom Hearts. Whoa! Ding, 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 ding! You oh, got oh. it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, well, first of all, shout outs to this guy. Um, ask your uncle. He did a five hour something retrospective on Metal Gear Solid Five, and uh, put it all together in one video recently. And I watched that. And uh, he's got a whole ARG thing that uh, uh, is like supposed to. We're supposed to follow the fucking breadcrumbs to unlock the secret ending to to the Metal Gear Solid Five retrospective, which is amazing. Because oh, obviously yeah. MGS five, um, but anyways, his biggest video on his channel is about Kingdom Hearts three. So I'm like, you know, I should play this a little. I've been meaning to maybe play it because uh, FF seven remake and rebirth are kind of basically just Kingdom Hearts if you like paused it when you selected commands. Uh, and so I started playing the first one on PS four, and it's uh, 
I mean, okay, I hate every scene where it's just, like, Sora and Riku or whatever, and every piece of dialogue is this, like, I'm 14 and this is deep kind of shit. And I don't know if that's, like, the intentional direction or, like, horrible translation. I don't know how the game... It's a bit of I don't know how... Well, I don't know how it was written because I love every scene that's got, like, Hades or fucking, like, um... I mean, any of the Disney characters, they're all great. Like, the the Wonderland... I'm still pretty early in the game. I'm, I'm on the yeah. Tarzan world now. But, you know, everything with Disney characters is, like, fine. Donald and Goofy are great. But then, like, it's like... It's like a... I, I don't know, maybe, like, uh, Disney people wrote that, those scenes and, the, and that dialogue and then... Japanese people wrote, you know, Square Enix people, weirdly translated, wrote it uh, for the the Final Fantasy stuff, and I don't know, but it's been it's it's been fun. It's an actually it's a pretty fun game, but it's also just yeah, every scene that talks about the actual lore. I'm playing the first one, yeah. and all of the ones later on are just man. I mean, two there's is apparently more, really good. There's more flow. Like it becomes a flow chart series after a little bit from everything it, I've known. Yeah, well, I'm trying to ver. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck, like, is going on. Like, actually, I, I don't want to be just. It's stupid. It's just dumb. I, I want to try to actually give it the credit of like, there is there something going on here, but it just keeps pissing me off, and I'm like, where is this set, and what is happening, and and what does this actually mean? And I know this one doesn't get paid off ever in this whole series because I've heard people complain about it, and it just <laughs> keeps happening. And, and then, but then it'll be like funny slapstick with Donald and Goofy, and then a really fun boss fight or whatever. And so, I mean, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, I guess later on in the series, the big problem for me, the series uh, stops to, uh, including Final Fantasy shit after a while. Uh, it, first game has like Squall yeah. and Cloud and everything. And, I think there's uh, a bit more of that. I, I'm not certain about three, but I think there's a lot more of that in like Dream Drop Distance and stuff. The... I don't think so. I think it. T I know two has a lot of that, but then two, I think two, after yes. that, it's kind of because I've always heard that it was like Disney basically was like just turn it into a Disney game, make more Disney, less fa Final Fantasy, more Disney. I don't know how true that is, but yeah, I mean, from what I've seen of it, it's it's a lot more like the Kingdom Hearts three video. Yeah. It's like there's fucking Disneyland attractions. There's yeah, so I think summons. the attractions are summons in a way. There's there's multiple versions of summons, and some of them have like mini game. That game has so much fucking going on in it. I, I kind of want to play Kingdom Hearts three, but I, I also don't care enough about the fucking plot of this series. Like I I am trying to give it a bit of the benefit of the doubt, but it's not working out. Yeah. So like I'm like I don't think I, you know, they say you're supposed to play the fucking Game Boy Advance game before two, and like I think I'm good. You know, I think I'll just play 2 yeah. if I want to play 2. I don't think I need to, you know, I don't think it's going to make a whole bunch more sense if I... Oh, right, Namine. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, that's that's what I've been up to, and it's uh, it's been shockingly okay. Yeah, I, I, I kind of... I've only played the main games, so I, I only really know those. I, I, I played 3. I like right. 3. It was a lot of people don't like three. That's a pretty. That's the. That's the one that's like the most contentious, really. Yeah, my, mind you, it is me. So I. I, I guess I, yeah. I. I'm supposed to accept. <laughs> supposed to like expect that, or it's like, oh, I enjoyed the shit out of this, and I followed the little recap thing they had in there. I didn't play like. I'm not jumping into the side games. I'm not getting. You're not old. playing the Jap Japanese only cell phone game or yeah, some I'm, shit like that. I'm not downloading a J2ME emulator to fucking play that. Um. It's fucking insane that this company has managed to gaslight everybody into thinking that, like, because they would just make, like, a Game Boy Advance game, and there's no way that they had actually, when they were making it, were like, oh yeah, this is absolutely crucial to play before 2. No, they just went retroactively and were like, well, you did play the Game Boy Advance one, right? Well, you better have, because now it's all in 2. Yeah, you, and, you and... played the, the one mobile visual novel I think they had, even. Oh yeah, they had all. There's so much stupid fucking shit. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's uh, like, I mean, I respect they're able to like keep this all going as long as it has. I mean, it's very corporate now. It did feel like I don't know. I mean, even me, as cynical as I am, like there's scenes again, like um, Hades in the Colosseum world, and in, in the first one, 
you know, he just is very well animated and the animation matches the, the voice acting and everything and it's charming and it, does, it doesn't just feel like it's like corporate product placement, go buy, you know, Hercules on, on VHS or whatever, which it probably was to some extent, but nowadays, I mean, it. I don't know, it just really, it be, from everything I see it... A and a bit of column B. I think. From everything I see, I mean, like, some of them, like, okay, the Toy Story world in 3, I think, is supposed to be kind of, like, its own story, but then they'll do the Frozen world that's basically just following the plot of Frozen, but... Yeah, it kind of retells got, like, the narrative. Yeah, you've just got a jabroni, like, fucking peanut gallery in the background going, woo, <laughs> over, like, emotional scenes. Donald Duck making suffering noises, you know? Well, I mean, yeah, to be fair, Donald Duck throughout this entire series, like, anytime he tries to say something deep and emotional, I can't help but laugh, because it's fucking Donald Duck trying to get serious well, with me. Multiple times throughout, I've been watching Vinny playing through uh, Rebirth, and multiple times throughout it, uh, the hill, there, there, were, there are parts where Sephiroth stuff will happen, and... And like a chat member will go like, Vinny ain't ain't that the guy the the one who's the dark part of of Cloud's heart, or something like? Because uh, I, I guess that's a goofy line, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so for all, of it, you know. he's the dark part of heart. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, well, speaking of that, one last thing. It is actually really funny to find out that a bunch of shit in the official FF Seven canon has been like, uh, has been influenced by Kingdom Hearts specifically. Yeah. Uh, in in particular, the horrifically stupid shit in Crisis Core, which I thought was Crisis Core's fault. No, uh, uh, it's it's Kingdom Hearts that gives Sephiroth a one wing. Like that was a thing. I think his final transformation, super final boss version, had like one wing, and and the song was called One Winged Angel. But he wasn't literally like an angel with one wing. But they made him that in in Kingdom Hearts, and then. Fucking Crisis Core has like five dudes, and one of them is named Angeal, and shouts, "What do angels dream of?" And I just, thanks a lot, Nomura. It's great. There's also an official quote from Nomura that says um, that he he doesn't simp he doesn't sympathize or uh, or um, empathize with uh, Sora, the protagonist. Really, he feels more for Xehanort, the bad guy. The the like prick who has no real character and I guess just starts a war, yeah. uh, for, uh, like a giant universal war for some reason. He he's basically just being edgy Mick Cool guy going, yeah, I don't really vibe with the protagonist. I I'm 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 really more into I'm really more into Hitler. I always thought he had some some pretty neat ideas. Official quote from Tetsuya Nomura. It's crazy. Oh, it's also he a quote from the Red that. Ranger in a way too. I'll save that for later. <laughs> oh. I oh think. yeah, no, I heard about that. <laughs> I think I know what y'all are talking about. Yeah, well, that's that's the Kingdom Hearts discussion. I don't know. Have either of you guys been playing anything? Um, I I'll let Tristan go. Actually, uh, I've been playing a lot of Stalker Anomaly. Ooh, and that's a uh, sort of a free play mod for uh, well, not really a mod actually. It's like a standalone repack of like. Stalker Call of Chernobyl, which was a free play mod for Call of Pripyat, and it added like all of the maps in from the old games as well. And this one, you don't need Stalker to download it, you can just download it. Oh, yeah, I think uh, it's like a, I think it's like a writing, a, like not a rights thing. I think, I think so. Oh, I tried to get into Stalker at one point, it seems pretty cool. It's like, um. I don't know if it's exact. It's not really like an immersive sim or anything, but it's kind of like similar a bit to like a, a yeah, New Vegas kind of game or it's, something. It's it's the closest to an immersive sim you can get without actually being an immersive sim, you know, while yeah. just being a pure shooter. It's got some like her um not horror but like survival elements too. I, I think right. Yeah. 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 Especially in uh, Anomaly, because oh, yeah. An Anomaly has a lot of weird. Uh, a lot of weird new features like you know you'll just find junk everywhere and you can use that junk to like help repair things or help like like you know crafting and stuff like that i don't know it's just it, it's it's different and i like that that you know it, it, that's a bit refreshing do you want to yeah you want to go to a new interesting thing i got for you that's but i'll kind of 
table what I've been playing to talk about one thing first. Oh, all right. Breaking so, news? What's going well, on? not really breaking, is more of as it's broken. Is, is this an exclusive for the Loud Equals Funny podcast? No, this is the Star Wars oh. Battlefront collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did want to oh, talk about man. Well, so that's interesting. I yeah. didn't realize until after the fact that that is actually also the company uh, who was... uh, we've talked about before. They were going to be, it's a spire. They were going to be making yep. KOTOR remake. The, they, the they remake. fumbled the Nice Little Republic remake. Yeah, well, we don't, I mean, I don't know if they fumbled. They, we'll that see. just got canceled, but you have yeah, to assume that's... it wouldn't have wound up any good after what yeah. happened with this. It, yeah, that, that's the thing. There's from. this, well, but see, there's this, the thing, apparently. Though. Just recently, the Tomb Raider collection, that's something they did, and it was actually a pretty good port. Wait, really? they did the Tomb Raider? I thought that yeah. was like... Um, but two, I thought that was Tomb Raider 1 and 3. Whatever. Um, no. But no oh, okay, I was playing some, I was playing some of that, is, and it is pretty what good. What the fuck yeah. is it with Aspire and Star Wars, then? <laughs> <laughs> they used to be good about it, but then they just decided, haha, we're gonna lie about the restored content mod coming to Knights yeah. of the Old Republic 2 on Switch. Well, See, speaking I, of mods, the they thing. apparently included modded content from someone in the remaster of that. Yeah. So, yeah. so... So basically what happened, if you're not in the loop, they put out um, a remaster of the classic, like, 2000-whatever, 2005, 2000-whatever. 2003 uh, and 2005, I think. Right. I mean, either 2004 um, and 2005. Something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, and uh, it should have been an easy slam dunk, you know? I mean, because I think those games, like, are still playable on... I think on Steam, like the original versions, yeah. you can still play them. Yeah, you can still I think they shut them, them down for a little while, but then like people complained and they they brought it back. Um, I, I, I but... think I think with that, it's just that the games were kind of having issues and they pulled uh, the online down for a little bit. Mm, no, okay. it, they were they, they were on GameSpy. Oh yeah. Fucked. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll happen to you. But, but um, see, like the games are still purchasable. Like you can still. Ten bucks for the original classic Battlefront Two. You can still yeah. buy it, still play it. And uh, those games are are classics. They're really, really good. You know, they're basic. If you haven't played, they're third person. I think you can switch third first yeah, person. You, you can do both. Uh, it's it's like Battlefield. You know, it's like a team based multiplayer thing. And you know, it was just supposed to be a remaster thing. That uh, it was also going to add like. Some of the maps from the first game, I guess, were going to be playable in the second game with some of the new features, I think. And, uh, yeah, you know, like, it's on PS5, I guess, and, you know, the new new platforms and with online and everything. Uh, it should have been an easy win. This uh, literally was, yeah, like, literally, a, a layup. Yeah. Like, you mentioned the Tomb Raider one. I was recently playing that. I've never liked Tomb Raider, but... Those are actually really good, and I've started to I started to enjoy Tomb Raider. It, it has my favorite uh, feature that like remaster uh, remakes or whatever have, uh, which is the uh, Halo uh, combat yeah. evolved oh, yeah. or whatever the thing where you can switch uh, uh, from the original to the new graphics uh, at the press of a button. That's always really cool. And yeah, so it's things. it's it's incredible to hear that they have completely fumbled it. I don't know exactly all the details. I know that it's like. What is it like seventy gigabytes or something? Yeah, it's, like, for these yeah, it's way bigger it's than 50, it should be. It's fifty on two twenty-year-old games. Yeah, I and mean, these games were only like Battlefront Two was five gigs. It's on. Yeah, it's they were literally on the size. These, like, these were PS Two games, people. They were yeah. on DVDs, not seventy gigabytes. It's the I have same. Like... It's the same size as the EA Battlefront Two. <laughs> oh God, yeah. I have like a ton of mods, and I'm actually checking in real time how big my Battlefront Two uh, folder is. It's probably nowhere. I have near a ton. I have a ton of mods. It's sixteen point three gigabytes. Yeah, you'd say yeah. Well, that is just two, right? I mean, this yeah, is it's just two, two mods, but, but even still, one. Yeah, one is. It, I have one, all one of the like battlefield, battle, battle, battlefield, Dumb. battlefront one maps in fucking battlefront two. Mm, yeah, yeah which, well, they don't even have that. They only have like some of them, I think. So, but here's yeah, the thing: I've um, been fine with this if it's like okay, if we got crossplay. And we got, you know, some of the community <laughs> mods brought forward. Wouldn't that be great? That would be, like, then you could excuse, I would excuse the 50 gigs. I'd excuse the fact that it's, like, 40 bucks for two games that I could buy for super cheap on Steam. I could excuse those things. But the problem is there's none of that, and it's broken, 
And well, yeah, like matchmaking doesn't work. Yeah, There's... they had three sixty-four player servers at launch to, to hold up oh, the launch. Three, the three of them. Wow. And and um, one of the ones I heard going around was that quote unquote remaster. They apparently just took some of the textures from the original and just not even like AI upscaled them. They just like blew up the size of them in Photoshop, like yeah. to four K or something. I'm not sure it's, about that, but they they are definitely using AI upscaling. Which, yeah, which I'm sure there's like a. I think there's a combination of both. Yeah, I see. The thing is, I'd be fine with that if you know we got a working game. Yeah, and the thing is, like. It's already been refunded a ton. It's it's already like it had a peak of nine thousand players on Steam. It's already, it's at about a thousand now. It, I I don't know if they're gonna fix this and make it to what it should be, which is a fucking shame. You know, I feel like ten years ago or something, it wasn't quite this common for there to be some new game every fucking month that was like a huge deal too. That. It is like just this horrible, mostly overwhelmingly negative reviews on Steam kind of game. Like every sports game is like that now. Yeah. Fucking a bunch of other shit comes out like that. Every live service comes out like that. I mean, not, it's, not, I wouldn't say every there. There's shut up, to, man. There's something to do. Like Hell, I, Hell Divers. That's um, that's a very positive on yeah, Steam. You got me yeah, right. and it is live service. Yeah. It, the thing is, like. The problem is, we're at, like every company is trying to get games out faster and faster without realizing that maybe near the end of production, slow down, cut those bugs out. Like we get it, you gotta. You're worried about shareholders. You're worried about you know get getting profits on time. But you'll you'll make more profit in the long term by selling a good finished game. People will. No. <laughs> No, you know what's better is rushing Sonic 06 to market way earlier than it needed to. Because Having a they demo build to, that's more patched in the main game. They wanted to meet the Christmas release season, so what they did, it was a funny, cool strategy. They made it so that for the next, like, 20 years, the, their fucking entire company is so closely associated with Sonic 06 that every fucking game they ever put out... Oh, jeez, I don't know if they could do a Jet Set Radio 3. You remember Sonic 06? I don't know. <laughs> that was that was their fun strategy. I hope it made them a few extra bucks that 06 fucking holiday quarter. I, I hope it was successful for them. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, 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 it could be worse. It really could be worse, but... I, I mean, I how could this have been worse? I was about to say, though, the question is, I don't want to know how it could be worse. I guess it could have been, you know what, here's a segue, it's, a, I don't know if either of you know anything about it, because I actually don't, maybe, yeah. I think, Bane, Bane, you might have heard about this, right. uh, I guess it could have been worse if it started with an, a, a, a horrible hacking exploit like Apex Legends, apparently. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, by the time this goes public, hopefully this will be patched, um, but God, it, I hope so. It, it seems like... Either there is an issue with Apex Legends and Source games, or there's an issue with uh, Easy Anti Cheat and its kernel level access. Um, there was an entire tournament that had. It... I'll also give the benefit of a doubt here. This also could be like somebody turning on their cheat and then just pretending it away on accident. I I'm going to give that benefit of a doubt, but I don't necessarily think that's why it happened. Um, so yeah, during a tournament for Apex Legends, a streamer who I am drawing a blank on and trying to pull up Twitter as we speak to get that headline real quick. Um, His name was Some Dumb Goy. <laughs> oh god, I hope so. Um, but he was playing uh, in an Apex Legends tournament. Like, live on stream and everything. Um, oh no. And... Yeah, okay. So, I'm... I'm yeah, Apex... What did he say? Something in support of Taiwan or Hong Kong or something? Um, no, he had his account hacked in the middle of an AGLS game. The hacker gave him the ability to see everyone else on the map, so it gave him a full-on wall hack. So somebody hacked mm. him beneficially? Are we sure he didn't just have well, I mean, that's the thing. Well, he, he would get pulled for cheating. Let's well, see. Yeah. And then uh, it happened to another player on a completely different, like... I, I don't I don't think they're like enemies or rivals, but they're not necessarily like 
super acquaintances, you know, like, they know each other from the community, but, like, you can see it during the game, and I'll, I'll link it. I'm just gonna link the Direct X post, because... Twitter post, oh my god, what did I just fucking he say? He just said X. Laugh well, because I, I saw, I see the letter, and I didn't I want to type in VX Twitter. I just you like, drove, you drove, you drove me to smoke. I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, this, this guy was also hacked mid game, and it happens around. Uh, I'm trying to see here from my footage. I think I'm trying to mute it because I don't want to fucking hear Apex. Have never seen something like this in esports. Is the uh, comment on here? That's that's quite a claim. Yeah, because it's fucking wild. Like. Yeah, it's just absurd. It's, um... People are remote hacking Apex. And the problem is... Uh, there's been an issue in the past with Titanfall 2. With the big hacking community of that. That was because of Source. The Source engine had a core vulnerability that uh, eventually got patched for a lot of things. But those games were suffering from hackers for a very long time. People were getting just booted off constantly. Uh, eventually... Uh, Respawn fixed it, and the community made a launcher called North Star to essentially run around that, kind of like Plutonium is for COD. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's fucking absurd to see um, a AAA big budget game get hacked like this, and we don't know if it's easy anti cheat or we don't know if it's Apex because it's running off of this, like, admittedly an outdated engine. Like Source is an outdated engine. It's been mm. ripped apart by the community, and everyone kind of knows it. And that's both a good and a bad thing, you know? Well, I guess so, yeah. I mean, people people like the engine, the way it feels to play on, but I guess it, it doesn't introduce issues like this. Yeah. And it, I, I love the engine, and I love a lot of the games made in it, and it's just... It's absurd, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, um... There was, like, the whole Titanfall thing. But there were some recent other ones like this, too, wasn't there? Yeah, there was... Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. There, there was another big one recently. Yeah. No, it keeps happening. I mean, the... That hacker known as 4chan, he really needs to be stopped eventually. Exactly. Blowing up vans. Absurd. The internet hate machine. <laughs> Um, I I will talk about the game I've been playing because I I I've been yeah, playing what slow, you been doing? slowly but surely playing through more of Rebirth. I because I I really like to get deep into the weeds and explore, and Junon mm. is fucking pretty. I love it. It's a pretty cool area, yeah. I but I went through it real slow, and I just finished it, and it's it's a fun place to explore. But now I'm getting sort of back into the meat of the story and all that. Yeah, I was playing it up until the other day. I, um, I, so around like 70 hours in or something, I got to, you know, no big spoilers, but I got to the, effectively, the end game sequence, but I didn't know it was the end game sequence because it's like, it begins like a fucking four or five hour dungeon that then leads into another few hour sequence and uh, during this whole time, you can't do any open world shit. So, and they don't really, they don't really tell, they tell you, you won't be able to return, which yeah. I guess is legally and technically it means that you won't, but it doesn't very exclusive. It doesn't specifically be like, Hey, dip shit, do everything you need to in the open world and fucking get it done because now you're locked in fucker. And that's what I, I needed it to slap me in the face until I needed it to yellow paint up that se sentence a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I will say, I will say uh, that game, uh, I kind of fucked myself in the <coughs> in the final boss sequence uh, because I selected an option in retrying the actual ac super last ultra, ultra final boss. I selected an option which unfortunately sent me back to the boss before that and the boss before that i guess it's a minor spoiler but it not Ow. not a big one because there's like four options now it's like restart from restart battle restart from last battle restart from start of sequence 
Oh, or like cancel. Okay. And, and and so I picked restart from last battle thinking I could like gear up again because some of my characters didn't have like any materia on them. Oh yeah. But what it does is uh it, it forces you to do that whole previous boss fight again. I don't even know why that's an option. Dude, it, it, it's, it's like all why over would the you... place too. You would want to be able to either redo the one you're doing currently, I feel, or restart the whole sequence if there's multiple in a row. Not do like, yeah, take me back to the one, the last one, please. <laughs> Specifically the last one, you my, know? My favorite I, I don't one, know, but... My favorite one of that for me was, I, I was in the middle of doing a fight, and I was just like, oh, you know, I'm going to click return to checkpoint, that should be fine. And I was high as balls, right? And, and the as I'm was like twenty minutes ago, <laughs> the checkpoint was like forty minutes ago, and I ended up starting a side quest that I the one where you had to escort the dog, and oh, I was like, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I was like, great hey. music. As I was going through, I'm like, hang on, wait, I've already done this fucking thing before, haven't I? And yeah, it turns uh, out I had, and I'm just an idiot. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. Uh, guess I'm, yeah. Uh, guess I'm figuring out which save was the right one I could uh, go back to and not fuck up my progress. Yeah, no, I um, I, I was saying the the one I accidentally had to go back and redo happened to be like a forty five minute hour long something like that multi phase boss fight, and I was just like, no, I think I'm good. I mean, if I continue, I think I am just gonna turn it to easy mode. But that was so like demoralizing. But other than that, though, man, you got some fucking shit in the end game. It's some really good boss fight sequences. Some really really fun, cool, epic encounters. Weird story elements toward the end, though. Uh, you know, for uh, as you might expect, it doesn't necessarily follow the sequence of things. But it also does. It also does. Uh, that's all I'll say. I'm I'm excited. I, I, I like how fucking weird they've just they've gotten with some of the new story elements. And yeah, I kind of want to see ghosts. It's too stupid. I'm 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 perfectly fine with the stupidity though. In this storyline that already has a life stream planet that can talk to people, you know, like dead spirits of our planet power electricity. Uh, no, the ghosts that influence the fate. No, that's too stupid. That's just out of line. That's crazy. Exactly. That's the absurd part. That's a step too far. Th thank you very much. Now, there's some things in the story I don't like. Actually, I will spoil one thing. I'm sorry, Bane. You're yeah, going to have good. to cover your ears. Right. I have to complain. It's wow. one single line of dialogue. Uh, in a very crucial, serious story moment toward the, the absolute end game. there's a very crucial, serious, dour moment. Everybody's back worried. now if you don't want to listen. Uh, uh, it's just one line. It's fucking Kate Sith. He says, I shouldn't they have skipped leg day. Well, uh, it's, it's uh, Kate uh, Sith, but it's also Kate I, Sith. So. I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, well, yeah. No, there's some more parts of that scene that are stupid. Uh, I, I but think that, everyone that, 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 wants to throw Kate Sith into a fucking wood chipper. Let, let's be real. Apparently he gets... Because I, I don't really remember super well the, the sequence of the original, but I guess in the original they... Spoilers for the original. It is different in the new one. Uh, but in the original, they uh, kidnap Barrett's daughter. The Shinra Corporation, like, kidnaps her. And basically, like, Kate Sith is working for them. And he is, like, give us the black materia or the keystone or whatever it is. Or your daughter gets it. But here they... Well, I guess it's a spoiler. They don't do that. They make him, like, a little less of a, of a fucker. <laughs> Yeah, uh, make him a little less of a, a less of a piece of a shit for someone who is then later just in your party again, and everybody forgives him for some reason. Like I don't know. I think it's that like, makes sense. Okay, can we throw him into the wood chipper now, please? Yeah, I think it's fine to maybe you know to change that up a little. You know. Uh, I also um, yeah. Speaking of Square Enix, real quick, do you remember that Foam Stars actually came out? I heard about that. Wasn't that like the Splatoon game? Yeah, um, it kind of sucks if I'm, if I'm being real. It feels like it should have been a free Not to play game. the century. Uh, yeah, it, it might be the warmest take ever. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Foam, Foam Stars... So Square Enix is a weird company, because they'll, they'll make something like Final Fantasy VII, and it'll, like, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, or Remake, and it'll be amazing, and then they'll pump all that money into turds like foam stars and just I wonder mean, where the money went. 
I remember in 2020 they put out the first part, you know, remake. Yeah. And then uh, the same year, they also I think it was that year or maybe like tw- 2019, they yeah. also put out the the remake, quote unquote, of um, Secret of Mana. Yeah. Which was like a phone game. <laughs> like it looked like shit. Yeah, it was kind of rough. It sounded like it shit. The music yeah. was terrible too. Oh, yeah, no, they're all over the fucking place. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on with them. They did they did turn that around for Trials of Mana, though. That was better. And now there's a new Mana game coming out. But, yeah, no, but then they'll also do all this weird shit with, like... It was Foam Stars, like, a Western game? Uh, or was it that... Was, it was weirdly kind of like... It, it feels... It feels like they tried to clone Splatoon, but fucked up. Like, you know when you, like, try to, like, scan something in a scanner and it, like, fucks up mm. somehow? I see. It's kind of like that. It it plays a lot like yeah. Splatoon. It's just more of a shooter than Splatoon is. I just meant like because uh, Square, you know, they had like Deus Ex and fucking oh, all of that. It's, for a while. it's more it's more Japanese even that. Oh okay, all right. Well, that's 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 interesting. Then I guess that's just like a because they have stuff. Square's a big company. They're like the, they're like an EA type of company in Japan where it's like they. There's a lot of games that come out that are like, oh yeah, Hitman was like a Square property for a while. I fucking forgot. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Sleeping Dogs is a Square Enix game. I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, so the developer of um, uh, of this game also developed um, Happy Wars. They helped develop uh, Near Replicant. Um, okay. Now, does that mean they're okay? I think that means that. Is this like the company that, like, remade it? I uh, well, they they helped remake it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, then that's not necessarily a big. Yeah, Happy thing. Wars and Happy Dungeons are the only two games I I really remember making, and I think that game is like completely dead now. So, mm. I've never heard of it. It was it was fun. It's just oh, I, I guess it is still around. That's fuck. Okay, it's still on Xbox. Alright. When did Foam Game come out? We got Foam! I'm not sure. Fuck. Uh, was that, like, recent? Because you mentioned, like, did you guys know it, it came out? I'm like, when did it come out? I feel like people have talked about it a bit, but not much. Uh, I think it came out right at, um... I'm trying to see on the date here. It came out February 6th is when Foam Stars came out. Okay. In like a month or two. Yeah, yeah it, 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 was, it definitely a, got lost in all of the uh, all of like the PlayStation the good Plus shit. game of a month last month as it launched. So I, I don't. It's it's not Please anything else. It. It's just PS4 and PS5, which is also weird. Because hmm. you think a game like this, you'd want to put on like everything that Splatoon isn't on. Yeah, like at the very least, PC. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe Xbox, um, maybe cell phones. People like to play Fortnite on their fucking phones. Get get real. real. (laughs) Ah, fuck. Um, Yeah, no, so outside of gaming, I got some other stories, if you guys are ready to shift to that. Um, Let me see if I have any gaming stories real quick. Okay, well, I mean, some of these are gaming stories still. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait for the one where we get to bully somebody. Oh uh, yeah, there is some gaming related capital G gaming. Oh uh, yeah, I got nothing. Capital right. double G. Oh no. Oh boy, yeah, we, we'll we'll talk about boogie for that also. But oh, oh god, yeah, yeah I forgot about boogie. He finally got the fence out of his ass, people. I'm so yeah. happy. He picked, uh, him, Ricky Berwick, both decided to just be dumbasses. That's something. Um, you want to go, Tristan? Uh, I don't really have anything that isn't gaming that that's gaming related. Okay, well, uh, all right, I, I'll I'll go with this story first. Uh, Lincoln woman got over twenty seven thousand dollars in free gasoline in a months long scheme. Affidavit says. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, um. This lady's my kind of hero, and I recommend people trying this now everywhere you can. Um, she had uh, found a glitch at her local gas station 
that allowed people to use their rewards card instead of a debit or credit card. Um, when the rewards card would be swiped twice, it would switch the pump into a demo mode, uh, effectively letting you pump free gasoline. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Woo. So, uh, I had to take a drink there. This lady um, used this 510 times to get 7,413 gallons of free gasoline. And... What happened when they finally <laughs> caught her? Well, they caught her because she was um, then selling that like that gasoline discounted uh... to people. Oh, see, that's where you, you... You had free gas yeah, for life. You, you, yeah. Sadly, you gotta be selfish about that kind of shit. Or at I the very be... least, tell other people how you did it. Yeah. No, you, you share it with your family. I mean, your friends. You oh, know, yeah, you, like, you, whatever. You give, but... them, give them a thing, yeah? Look, I'm, yeah. Guess. I'm not gonna say that I'll ever find this, but you guys will find out from me in, in weird ways. Like, you'll get wrapped, you know, under a tree at Christmas time. A gas can full of gasoline, like three three gallons of that shit. Yeah, with a bomb strapped to it. Yeah. <laughs> a timer and some wires. <laughs> Here you and go, a picture Timmy. of the, the, the cover of Mystery of the Druids, of course. <laughs> of course. But yeah, no, like she she found she found a loophole and she, you know, I, I don't think she should be charged for this. It's a well, glitch. It, it's not a crime. It, it only became a crime when she started selling the fuel. Well, yeah, that's also like, put, not put a her, crime. You know, like, you know, well, no, see, that, that, that could was a, be a crime. This is yeah, so fucking stupid. You can, you can stupid. make an argument. I guess so. This is so fucking stupid. This dumb, dumb idiot. She should have sold the secrets. Exactly. Don't sell the actual fuel. You tell people around the town, hey, you want free gas forever? You charge you you give me something. I'll tell you the secrets. No, what you do is you make a ten minute long YouTube video and you pepper that shit full of ads. <laughs> Hell yeah! I guess that works I, too. I'm gonna teach you, put, you all. You put so secrets. many you put so many ads in it that it's actually impossible to tell what the what the secret is. <laughs> <laughs> like this video between, is sponsored by <laughs> multiple ads in one word. I you know, I that could be entirely successful. I could see that being. I mean, honestly, she kind of won. Well, yeah. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> no matter what, shit like, ton of free gas. And I would have fucking, I would have started burying that shit in my yard. I would have hid that. Yeah. Well, yeah. at a certain point, that might be that might create a problem. Yeah. Ecologically or something. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be sure to seal up the cans at least. Exactly. Yeah, you know, make sure there's nothing flammable anywhere in the block. Yeah. I, I I got a I got a story that can segue from right there if you want. Hell yeah! All right. All right. Uh, two men plan to have large python eat woman's daughter before blowing up her house. Police say. Uh, this is uh -huh. this is their this is this lady's house right now. I just sent you a photo there. Um, Holy shit! So these two men uh, set off a bomb because uh, one of these guys um, for us the guy on the right here uh, got rejected by a woman after. Um, they met on a dating app and eventually uh, they blocked each other because they uh, she thought he was crazy. And just to prove really, yeah, just to prove her right, um, uh, her and well, him and his friend, uh, the guy on the left there, uh, first guy is Steven, the second guy's name is Caleb. Uh, they both had planned to shoot arrows in the victim's front door, mail her dog feces or dead rats, scalp her head, blow up the home, and release a large python to eat her daughter. Uh, uh, I mean, points for creativity, I guess. I mean, most people just go stabbing. E for effort, but uh... yeah, this is where the the free gas canisters would would come in handy. Uh, oh yeah, for... these guys need that lady. Uh, this would have went in a different. This story went in a different way. Yeah. But um, yeah, they found her home, and then uh, they built an explosive device using tannerite, and then blew up her house. Uh. Well, I guess it would have gone in the same way then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, these guys are it also. It doesn't look not... like the house has been completely destroyed. It's, you know, large, large, lo a lot of it is still intact, but not all. Yeah, a lot. These guys also were completely stupid. Um, they had found uh, journals of them, they found evidence of the explosives, Google searches. 
Um, <laughs> but I'm How to the make scene. mom to blow up that bitch who call me crazy? <laughs> Google.com. And, and these guys are facing some like some real charges too. Um, un- unlawful possession of explosive, first degree arson, stalking, use of an explosive to commit another felony offense, uh, conspiracy to use an explosive to commit felony, and possession of an unregulated, uh, unregistered destructive device. So, um, the conspiracy charges alone, uh, like, have the possibility of up to 20 years in prison, and then using an explosive to commit a felony carries up to 10 years in prison. Jeez. These guys are fucked. When I, well, when I saw the story, I was like, holy shit, you guys are idiots. You know, idiots are not very nice either. Yeah, some would say kind of rude. Mm-hmm. But yeah, not like... I disagree w- with what they've done. I, I would say that they are very um, not good gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Double yeah. plus ungood. Just baffling to me. Um, oh, here's uh, an interesting story. A Toronto-based uh, DNA company, um, you know, I'll save the name of it. I'm, I'm not Toronto-based. I can say this. DNA My Dog uh, identified a, a, a human woman, a human reporter for WBZ News, as 40% Alaskan Malamut, 30, 35% Sharpe, and 25% Labrador. Uh, How did they that? Uh, it seems like this company is um, incredibly poor because other testing uh, companies, Orvet and Wisdom Panel, uh, said that they failed to catch any uh, DNA that was dog DNA. But apparently, DNA my dog, after a swab, se- well, swab sample from the reporter's own cheek, again, uh, purportedly said that she is 40% Alaskan Malamut. So... Hey. Oh, so it's a scam, in other words, allegedly? Allegedly, yes. Theoretically, right. it's a scam. Right. It could be a scam. It's possible. Yeah. I can't believe it's not a scam. <laughs> wow. I just, I mean, hey, you know, at, at least she didn't earn it the way, you know, like Whitney Wisconsin did, I hope. But Cause you got to think, Whitney Wisconsin's probably got 100% of that dog in her. You know? Yeah, there's at least a little dog DNA in, in some white women, but probably yeah. not that much. Hopefully not that much, at least. Jeez. Uh, another headline here. Montreal man returns from vacation, gets letter from Quebec government saying he's dead. Oh, hell yeah. I, I had a Canadian lark here. I, I thought you guys would love this. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he... Um, he got an interesting letter in the mail after returning um, home from an extended vacation in Costa Rica. In a 14-page letter from the Ministry of Justice, the government wrote it's hoping to collect money from Nick Faturos' estate for a speeding ticket. The problem is, Faturos is very much alive. So they were trying to get a... Oh, oh my god, that's a thousand dollar speeding ticket. What the fuck? Jeez. Ah, respect to that guy. Uh... But no, um, the 34-year-old says he contested a speeding ticket from 2022 and been left for an extended vacation in Central America. Uh, completely forgot about it, then came back and got this letter, he said. Uh, he was taken aback and is thankful his mother never saw it. Uh, if she would open this and I was off of my travels, God forbid, you know, she would say, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> it's weird, and uh, he needs to legally declare that he's a, a living person because it will affect almost everything, like, Take him off the, the Canadian Social Security list. I don't know if that's called necessarily, but I wonder what would happen if they just said no. If you just no. didn't say anything about it, just like, no, yeah. you're dead. You're dead, actually. <laughs> I got another story here, and I'm trying to find the image for it. Because... All right. Well, in the meantime, I got a really quick one. All right. The uh, inventor of the karaoke machine, uh, Shigechi Negishi. Uh, has sadly passed away. Oh, man. So big, big rip to the goat. Damn. Love me some karaoke. Damn, that is a shame. It, it is wild how like karaoke became so prolific. Also, like it, it blew up. You know. Oh yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple once you like really if you if you think about it. It's just singing shit to songs you know. 
Same. Yeah, it's one of those. We all do that on our like, own. It's one of those concepts. that's like, how did it take somebody inventing this to for it to become a thing? Well, I guess I mean, obviously, people just you know performed, and they were probably like cover bands or something like that, and you know just walk up to them and say, "Hey, play uh, the bad to the bone," and they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> "So, like, I, I, I guess, I, I guess it's like specifically the machine itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I, I do have uh, I, I finally found the image here. So, um. <laughs> There was uh, a guy who got uh, caught, passed out, jerking off inside a screening of Love Lies Bleeding, which makes me wish this would have... I saw this. I, I fucking... I, I... Okay. I hate Twitter. Fucking hate Twitter's... Okay. So yeah, it is a photo here. Uh, it's a guy, his dick is out. Like, you can see the head of his dick. <laughs> and on the table beside Love him, Lies Bleeding? Uh, it's that new movie with, um, uh, Kristen Stewart. Apparently it's really good. I think it's, like, a sexy movie. I'm not certain. Um, uh, but, uh, uh, he is, like, dick is out. He's passed out. There's, like, he did a line of coke before this, because, like, right, whereas, uh, like, you can see the rolled yeah, up. Yeah, you can see the rolled up. Yeah. Uh, he's got a vape here. He's got fucking two things of fireball. Two vapes. Oh, my, there's two vapes. There's another one beside the second glass. I think that might be Whoa. Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. It could, it could be, but very, I'm, I'm going to say... Very, very strange and specific thing, I know. But I'm going to say second it, vape, personally. True. Yeah, it's, it's, it, uh, it is very two, possible. Two bottles of Fireball. <laughs> Go kill yourself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he didn't even finish the first one. He, he fucking... He, you know, he didn't even finish, or at least if he did, he cleaned himself up. But, you know, poor little guy is just tuckered out. <laughs> Let him have this. You know, I like the attempt to uh in the in the image he's uh he's got like a jacket over his lap, so it's like he didn't want anybody in the front rows below him to see to look up and see what he's doing. Yeah. He didn't stop and think somebody like in this image would be behind him looking down on him well, uh, in you I, I know, think, shamefully. I think, he, I think he was. I just think at this point he probably like he may be one of those people who shovels in his sleep. Mm. We're just like, uh... Are that, or he just was so tired he just didn't give a fuck? <laughs> no, I'll do it. God, but, you know, I've I've never been that fucked up in my life, and I gotta say respect. Yeah, I mean, people gave uh, Paul Rubens shit for a long time for, I guess he jerked off in a porn theater. It's yeah, like, he... well, it is a porn theater. Yeah, it's, it's literally what it's made for. Like, yeah. come on. Cut Can't be too slack. too upset about that, but I think this is just like a regular movie that has nude scenes, I guess, right? I, I think so. It, uh, I haven't... I've seen a trailer, and it looked pretty interesting, but I, I could not tell you what the movie's about from a trailer. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Mm. Well, uh, you know, as long as it's got tits in it, I'm sure it's great. It's got a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, no, well, now we know why the guy, why the guy was so enthusiastic. <laughs> Must be some nice tits. I guess right. it's great, yeah. Man, I, 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 hey, I want to see it now. But and then, yeah. uh, funny enough, the uh, the Twitter account for I, I think it may have been a twenty four or could have been the movie, but they retweeted the the post that Variety made about it, which was the news article. Mm. So you know, respect. Well, you know, um, 92%, that's like a few points higher than Food Fight. So it's, it must be a good movie. Maybe that's why he was jerking few. off. He just liked the movie so much. Oh, true. And uh, this off topic, because I just saw some variety thing. Um, Jeff Lynn's ELO announces final tour. Uh, ah, yeah. the next yeah. annual final tour. The next official Yeah, is, is it, it going to be like time. fucking... Ozzy's final tour where it's like no more tours. <laughs> well, that happens all the fucking time, though. There was um, I think the Eagles did one. Oh, like, yeah. My dad watched it. That was like th- I, th- I, th- I think they said something like thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. It was their final tour thing, you know. So, I, I don't know. Well, I mean Kiss has done that like six times, haven't they? Mm. Like, yeah, you know. 
We really need to just replace Kiss with a bunch of like, like the uh, there was an old Best of the Worst where they there it was Kiss meets the Phantom of the Park, and it oh, was yeah. like some some uh, amusement park with like an evil guy who made robots and he made robot Kiss members, and their whole plot for the movie was like. They should have just made it be like a horrible, cynical nightmare where they put on a show with the robot Kiss and the people in the audience love it and don't notice the difference. <laughs> because Kiss is already a mechanical <laughs> band that's sold out. Oh, but, yeah. But, well, you now, know, maybe that's what to... they should do. They have yeah. that technology now, probably. They, they did their, their last tour, and then they announced that they're going to have essentially AI versions of themselves touring. And uh, exactly what I said. Amazing. Yeah. But I, I'm just like that. That sounds like the we don't get worst animatronic thing. kisses like the '80s movie, but we get AI oh. shitty kisses. That's good. You know, honestly, I would kill for a Chuck E. Cheese version of almost every band. Really, like, yeah. <laughs> let's go for that. Yeah, give me a uh, Freddy Fazbear equivalent to like David Bowie. Honest to God, if 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 the fucking Five Nights at Freddy's movie somehow revive like showbiz pizza, it'd be the funniest thing in the world. Like, I mean, it could always happen. It could. I mean, again, should. Red Letter Media they reviewed, they talked about the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie, yeah. and they were like, "You got to get Rich Evans in FNAF too. He I... can sit in the pizzeria and he can wear his Dick the Birthday Boy shirt and he can have he can like look over and see Showbiz Pizza Bear or something. Exactly. It would be great. Yeah. You know, I I will give that movie props for the fact that it actually had like animatronics and it wasn't like a, a CGI turd. Cause yeah, I guess that that, that probably movie had a totally probably... a CGI turd. It probably did have CGI, but if it wasn't, like, super noticeable, then that's yeah. good. They, they, they use CGI mostly to, like, remove wires and shit. There was a lot of, like, animatronic work. I'll I'll give them props on the fact they went... Like, they went with Jim... The Jim Henson Creature Shop. They they went whole hog. Mm. But uh, speaking of concerts oh, yeah. and, and dead people from the 80s... Uh, oh. Yeah. John Hinckley, uh, John Hinckley Jr., the guy who tried and, sadly, failed to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Um, Can't win them all. Yeah, <laughs> womp womp. Uh, but no, um, this has been something that's been ongoing and a little, like, fascination for me in the background, and I figured I'd talk about it here. Uh, since 2016, jo John Hinckley, uh, well, since 2020, he's been publicly trying to be um, a musician. And he was released in 2016, but after a uh, ruling in 2020, he was allowed to be able to try to publicly um, be a musician and all that. But uh, since 2020, he started a YouTube channel and he's posted music like constantly on there. But he's been trying to tour. He really has. He's like since 2022 has been trying to tour. And the thing is, um, almost every time he gets a venue, and even when. Even when he sold out a fucking venue, right? He sold out a venue in New York. Uh, the name of it was the Market Hotel. Sold it out completely. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're not talking like Madison Square Garden here. No, we're no, talking we're, like, we're talking about like an, a normal, like a, a room the thing. size of maybe a house or two. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say. I'd say like it was more. Um, it, like it could host like three to five hundred people. It's not not small, but not big. Okay. Um, but now he's been trying, and just recently, um, a concert in Connecticut at Hotel Huxley, which was also set to be the 43rd anniversary of a Reagan shooting, uh, has oh, been wow. has been postponed, not been canceled, but postponed. And the thing is, I I kind of want to see because he also yeah another one aimed in Connecticut in April 2022. The show was canceled. Um. But yeah, no, it it's one of those things. He tried to assassinate Reagan to uh, impress Jodie Foster, who um, J John Hinckley would not know, but she's a lesbian, so... Uh, no. Yeesh. I mean... What that was the biggest flaw in his plan, really. Yeah, it's like, maybe it would have impressed her, but I don't feel like it would have impressed her that much, Chief. 
But yeah, no. Um, he's now 68. He's still trying to be a musician. He... I have not listened to a single one of his music, like, a bit of his music. He released an album named Redemption. Oh, of course he did. Exoneration so. Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We need to get him... Oh my... We need to get, like... Oh, okay. We need to create... Get like, him and Viper and Vote Saxon. And R. Kelly. We, we, we need to get... <laughs> we need to get... The, okay, the, go Cosby. Bring him up. We get the criminal musicians... I, I'd be down for all that. What about uh, Ian Watt kids? Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> that, that's a little There's too There's a fun. line, yeah. There's a line. But yeah, you know, you, so... can, even, you can even bring in um, uh, Charlie Manson, and I'd still want him more than fucking Ian Watt kids. Yeah. But sorry. Chris. So... Is that the reason why you lost your your Twitter account? Yes. You told him to... You said he should get killed in prison or well, something. Well, no. What I what I said was um, forty three lines of "kill him" in all caps, <laughs> over. And I've, I've tried to re I've tried to repeal right. that. I even like I even tried making like this is an Antifa targeting me for having right wing views. Even no, nope, that didn't work. I thought that could work with a new Twitter. Um, it didn't work. I thought I could like play the system and say like, oh, it was Antifa targeting? No to get political it didn't work down maybe it also probably didn't help but i constantly posted that fucking image of uh elon and jelaine maxwell <laughs> <laughs> that was almost my favorite image to post on twitter it's, I love it's, re it's really good that should have been your 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 ban appeal was just <laughs> well it, i'll have you know it's like your honor it. i'll have you know that <laughs> elon and uh Ghislaine maxwell are, are very friends of ian watkins yes yeah yeah but that, anyways, continue, Tristan. Sorry. So, um, I I've listened to most of his uh his, his song called "Finally Free," and it's just kind of guitar music with a country accent. It it's one of those. Nah, yeah, just kind of nothing too uh, interesting though. It's just music. Yeah, I mean, hey, you try. You got um. You got picked up by Asbestos Records. <laughs> which, I love the name. <laughs> and his album is twenty four ninety nine. Jesus. That's a bit expensive. Yeah, for an, It's on Spotify and stuff. For, that's, for an mm. e, that's for an LP. Well, I'll have is to keep fun? in mind whenever I do a stream looking at weird music that John Hinckley has music. Oh yeah, his is the Attempted fifth selling... assassin John Hinckley. His is the fifth selling record on their website, right next to um, new, the New Wave LP by Against Me. Oh, I've got the Red Ranger actor. Yeah. Mm. So, um, he, he's launching a clothing line um, where uh, he's putting history's leaders, from heroes to villains, every quote tells a story. Uh, and one of them is selling <laughs> shirts with Hitler quotes to where he quoted... Like, he said that Hitler was a demon on steroids, but he had a lot of great one-liners. <laughs> like, yeah, all right, buddy, sure. Uh, uh, you know, right. it was really weird. I went to um, I went to Richmond Comic Con in like 2016, yeah. and the Red Ranger was there, and I was wondering who was there quoting Mein Kampf. Well, yeah, it was somebody. Sign. I heard it from across the fucking auditorium. They didn't want to say anything because he is the Red Ranger after all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Also, um, the the lady who played the Pink Ranger, uh, Amy Jo Johnson, tweeted out a couple things. Um, Rogue Red Ranger has an entire new meaning. Okay, I'll stop now. And then, uh, hmm, I think some people should have publicists. Which, yeah, yeah. I I mean, I I, I he also included. Um, Apparently, some other quotes that he has is having quotes from like Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee on there too, and it's like, what what are you doing? Fam famous world leaders Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee. Yes, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, Adolf Hitler. There's three equal human beings. They're three people who have everything in common. I mm -hmm. have no idea what you could be referring to, sir. I love those action movies starring Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, it's like, who's going to buy that? It's like buying a Burzum shirt now. It's like... I'm... That's the thing. Ooh, ooh. 
that time on Twitter has told me that people will buy it. Yeah, it might be his, uh, you know, that might be well, his Twitter best the way it is now. Yeah. His first customer might even be uh, one uh, Joanne Rowling. Oh, yeah. Good old, good old Joan. Yeah, apparently she said some new and diverse new thing, like things. Yeah. It's a really good episode for segues. She's, she's distinct her claim with like a very specific group of people that uh, don't like her and she doesn't like them, I guess. But now she's she's going for broad new horizons. Yeah, she, you know, I, I guess she's really trying to sell those books. I mean, has she, okay, here's a question that I have, but it's, it's a genuine question because I'm honestly not sure. Has she written anything other than Harry Potter and then those one movies, the uh, Fantastic Beast movies? She wrote The Casual Vacancy, which I only know about because it's a bad book written by J.K. Rowling under a pseudonym. Oh, Ooh. wait, she wrote it under... Why would you yeah. write it under a fucking pseudonym? She, she, she thought famous. people would, like... She thought she, she thought people would, like, expect, like, something new and... Wow, this is gonna be, like, the new Harry Potter. Which, that's fair, I guess. I mean, yes, but also... The best way to break those expectations is just by making a new thing and just doing it. No, well, also making it good. True. God. But that's more difficult, obviously. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I've, I've always felt the same way that I felt about Harry Potter, which I liked the first movie and then some of the second one, and I never really watched anything past it, and I, you know... I'm 28. If I get into Harry Potter now, that would hopefully be a red flag. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts, and I still I don't think I need to, you know. I mean, watch the Harry Potter <laughs> movies or anything at this point in time. Yeah, they're like, good uh, movies, I guess. I don't know. I did I mean, like them. I like the, the, the director of the first one. So I think it was Chris Columbus, wasn't it? Hell yeah! It was the yeah. first few. I think he did the first two. Ah, hey, oh, there you cool. go. Signs of quality. Then I was done after that. Makes sense. Well, the third one was also a really good movie. It was like a horror movie, and then I remember four was where it kind of started to go downhill. I really like the fifth. I like the fifth book the most, and the fifth movie I is is my least favorite because it just it's so condensed. And then yeah. after that, I kind of stopped caring about both the books and the movie. I I cared about them at the time, but now it's like eh, edgy shit, whatever. I don't know. I, I kind of I... dig the sixth one. I, have... I was I was I was. I, yeah. I was big on Harry Potter like a while ago, but I, I, I'm f like I haven't, I haven't been nostalgia for it, but I'm fully aware that it sucks ass. Yeah, I, I grew yeah, up it's with not great. Like, well, when I when I grew up, it's not the like hey, my parents weren't those kind of weirdos, but we hang we hung around a lot of the like Harry Potter satanic people because yeah. had a lot of religious Ooh. cousins and yeah. I remember um, when I was um, I was at my uh, grandmother's place. And uh, we had some f some other family members over, and she she's she was very religious, and so were the other family members. And this was when I was still getting when I was still into Harry Potter when I was young. I started realizing suddenly because they were I guess they were talking about the Bible or something, and I was realizing, wait, oh, and Voldemort got cast out of the school just like Lucifer got cast out, and, and my parents oh, were very God. quick to shut me down on that. <laughs> They did not want me to to talk too much about that in the presence of the, of the family. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh shit. Like I, like I, I read the first couple of books, and then I, it was most it was mostly just like, eh. I I never really got too deep into them, but there. Um. Fuck. I'm trying to find the the quote from a Harry Potter actress. There was a recent uh, quote from one of the Harry Potter actresses, basically saying, "Oh, Miriam Margoyles, who yes. uh, who played one of the professors and also uh, did the voice of the Meep from the recent Doctor Who specials, and therefore is the only thing I know her for." Oh shit, that's a Meep voice. <laughs> yep. Oh fuck. And uh, she she basically <laughs> she basically insinuated the people who are still into Harry Potter in like their twenties got to grow the fuck up. Oh yeah, uh, the, the quote here is I'm not unhappy about it, I just think it's for children and if your balls have dropped then it's time to forget about it. You know, go on so to other funny. You know, go uh, on to other things. No, seriously, it's a great series. It's a wonderful set of films. I'm proud I'm in it, but it was 25 years ago. You know, grow up. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean it, it's, it's also that same appeal I had uh, when, like 
you know, people were getting really mad that one, like Batman dies and and uh, Suicide Squad, but also like as a Flash fan, I I remember Barry Allen was dead for fucking twenty years of the comics, and then seeing him die again, I was cheering. It's like yeah, woo! Ooh, ooh. it's like it, people hold on to certain things a little too much, and it's like yeah, yeah, it's it, sometimes I mean... it's time to let go. I mean, yeah. shit, I wish I could, uh, uh, no, it's fine. I have some things I want to say regarding, uh, deaths and stuff in, in a certain popular game, but, uh, yeah, go for know, it. it's, oh, well, oh, oh, no, yeah. it'll spoil things for you and other people, and, and I don't well, think that's necessary, it's, but. That's fair, I, but, you know, like, some, some deaths, I think, are just. Like, so, sometimes it's fine to have a character die and kind of, like, move, you know? Yeah. Well, okay, one thing that's not a spoiler, you know, it's yeah. FF7 Rebirth. That's a game where, in the last one, in Remake, you know, they already kind of set this up, and, and the, they go into it more, but basically it's a... It, do you dig on, on multiple universes? Because it's basically, you know, there's timeline shit happening. Yeah. Uh... And, uh, you know, realizing that and the maybe the extent of it, it's kind of like, oh, well, okay, I guess it doesn't really fucking matter if, like, any character dies ever, I guess, because, like, there's just, like, infinite other ones, and we could just go yoink a fucking, you know, Sid Highwind out of another reality, because he died. He doesn't die. I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. He Play might. the game and find out, but... Theoretically. Uh, hi theoretically, hypothetically, maybe he dies at the end of Rebirth, and, like, whatever, who cares? Just pull him out of a fucking uh, other universe. It's fine. Yeah. You know? The kind of, it kind of kills the stakes a little bit when, when that sort of starts entering the equation, so it's a little unfortunate. <laughs> it, it, it can. There's sometimes where it can work, but it's, like, most of the time it feels like, ah, eh, well... Just let people stay dead. Yeah, let it matter. Like, keep the stakes high. Let them... Like, let it let it matter more, you know? Yeah. But, uh, I don't know why a lot of them don't want to do that. It makes no fucking sense, but... That's what happens, you know? It sure it's does. Weird. Yeah, I realize we didn't... We, well, fucking phone... We haven't even uh, actually said what uh, what she said. Oh, yes. So uh, someone, I guess, responded to her saying that the Nazis burnt books on trans healthcare and research and asking her why she's why, basically why she's being like them. And this is a true thing. The Nazis absolutely did this. And then J.K. Rowling just screenshots that and says, just... How? How did you type this out and press send without thinking, I should maybe check my source for this, because it might have been a fever dream. And yeah. that's all that this, uh, this screenshot has. But she goes on to put words in this person's mouth, saying that the Nazis burnt all the books on trans health care. Oh, and... <sighs> It's just so strange. Just How many see. books were there on trans healthcare in the nineteen forties? That's, that, that's the thing. There was that like that's when it was sort of yeah, starting to There were very pick up few. Speed. And it was set back because of this. Yeah. I, I mean it, it's noted that the like like Germany suppressed at that time especially, like suppressed anything that was all alternative to what Hitler wanted. And yeah, you can look in the history and see that they burn everything. Anything that yeah. wasn't, like, supporting any Nazi ideology, they would burn. So, yeah. It, it, it's weird, and also, she's just so fucking weird and petty about shit. I, I don't get it. It's, it, it's, it's very strange seeing someone who never has to work a day in their life again get mad at people on Twitter. Yeah. It, it, it seems strange. miserable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a grim reality for a lot of people who have no better options. Yeah. You think this fucking woman could be traveling the world or something. I yeah, mean, maybe like... she is, but she's, maybe she's, maybe she's like, she's like the kid who goes on a vacation with their parents, and instead of enjoying the Cancun sun, they're just sitting there playing their Game Boy. 
Oh, yeah. But instead, it's just her sitting there tweeting about trans people and Nazis or whatever. <laughs> imagine, like, uh, uh, imagine being a grown adult and just, like, on a vacation trip and, like, tweeting about people you hate. I, I feel like that, yeah. that sounds, like, incredibly miserable to think about. Yeah. A successful adult who chooses to be this way. Exactly. It's like, you could literally just, like, you could hire people to fight in front of you for for what would be a dent That's in your true. pocket. J.K. Rowling, please stop posting stupid shit on Twitter and please, God, fund the Enhanced Special Olympics for us, please. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know what? If she does that, I, I would audibly say respect for her. I'm not going to say that right There's now. There's a lot but... of things she could do, but what she is going to do is whine more on Twitter, probably. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna be an asshole on online. Which, I mean, I, I guess you can just do that, and it's, I mean, it's fine. But that's your choice. But I can tell you, yeah. it looks miserable from the outside. Uh, just, just real quick, I, I'm gonna put a final word on this. Yes. J.K. Rowling, mm -hmm. you can do, you can, you can be mad at people on Twitter all you want. I just have one request besides funding the Enhanced Special Olympics. Please, please answer my burning question. If Birdie Bot's beans are really every flavor, does that mean that there's a pussy flavored bean? Hashtag are there pussy flavored beans, all caps. It'd have to be a cum flavored bean. Yeah. It'd I mean, have to be an ass flavored that, bean. You're thinking about that. I'm thinking like, is there a bean that tastes like a very specific type, like every blade of grass in the world has its own bean. Let's say, like, there'd have to be a human intestine flavored bean, wouldn't there? Yeah, like a like a kidney bean. Well, then, then, you, also, uh, then you also get into the weird beans, right? Then you get onto like, can you get the flavor of ennui into a fucking like bean? I think you, I think you would have to be able to taste it and also like discern a difference from a different similarly taste thing. That's fair. You get like I mean, I'd, I'd pay for emotion flavored beans. I want to taste what misery tastes like. Yeah, I'm I already thinking like that every day. That's fair. I'm I'm thinking like you know uh, when you're when something's really wrong with you and you're tasting like a you've got like a metallic taste in your mouth. Maybe oh, there's yeah. a bean for that. Hmm. Oh, Just iron the bean of uh, the bean of a stroke. I take that one. Mm, it smells like toast. <laughs> it tastes like burnt toast. Mm. <laughs> I do like burnt toast, so hey. It's same, honestly. Yo, 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 y'all gonna be having strokes like, oh, uh, yo, yo, my favorite food. Fucking <laughs> fall down, <laughs> fall. Yeah, <laughs> hit my head on a fucking like corner of a stove. Mm, <laughs> I, I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to hell for liking the Avengers. Oh, I'm going to hell for like loads of things. Yeah, name, and, and, name more than one, please. <laughs> to be fair, most of us are these days. The requirements are pretty strict. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, for the longest yeah. time, like people who ate shrimp got sent to hell. Exactly. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people in there just like chumming it up with Hitler. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe maybe the Red Ranger can you know eat a lot of shrimp. And <laughs> that's that's his end game. Cure his spot. Yeah. He, he's really just trying to prepare for like meeting them again, like the pass. Yeah. You know? You what the... pass? Which yeah. pass does Hitler <laughs> That's have? a good question. <laughs> uh, technically, Hitler gave himself all the passes. So. I guess. Well, he didn't really give them to himself. He just kind of didn't care. Yeah. yeah. Like, what, are, what, are, what are they going to do? Be mad at me? I have camps I can put them in. <laughs> I am above them. You know, they you know, are like you know, zygotes to me. You know, if you really think about it, Hitler was really the first girl <laughs> You know the thing is, you you, men you mentioned the camps, and yeah. like that's really fucked up because it's Hitler. But if it was somebody who was really into like the remakes of the st the Battlefront games that just came out, you know, <laughs> then it would be like maybe they should be put in camps. Maybe they don't need to be in society. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's the same game. It just has a really shitty online, and they stole assets from a modder. Yeah, it's. Problem is, is and it's that, seventy that gigabytes, and you have a seventy 
the fact that 70 gigabytes is fucking absurd, really. It's like, how how and why? Uh, it's just disappointing, man. They had such a fucking bag of that game. How do you fucking fumble it? And they fumbled, like, the strangest part. Like, <clears throat> the big problem that people are having. Well, there are two, I guess. Yeah. One, the online is ass. It's bad. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I've seen videos of people shooting someone, the shot connects, but then the person that they shot just kind of jumps back 50 feet. And then like you see them aim up at the person shooting and then they shoot. And like before the bullet has time to travel over to the guy who shot first, the guy dies. Yeah, it's... you see, you see the laser impact. Like you go, it goes through where they used to be because they fell and died yeah. from a bullet they couldn't see. Nice. I don't care how yeah, many but, um, stuff so you probably much. dealt with. Kind of stuff you dealt with all the time on the PS2, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. and the the other one is uh, the frame rate is very inconsistent. And keep in mind, these are games released 10 years ago. And also, the frame rate is locked to... years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wow. Oh, My brain's uh, uh, the uh, And also, the, the frame rate is locked to 30 online. Actually, I think it's just multiplayer in general. See, that's, well, that's, that's weird, good. but I can understand it if it's like the 64-player mode and it's like you're playing on maybe the... Maybe the original like Xbox One and PS4. Like I gotta no, understand it's, it's that PS5, thing. new Xbox, PC, Switch. I mean, it's more understandable for Switch, but yeah. still, so Switch also. Yeah, it's like the fact PS5 that you can get is not going to be able to run that PS2 game uh, at at 60 on uh, on multiplayer. That's not happening. God, I, I'm just so baffled. Like, how does this fuck up? Like. How do you do this? How do you let it get to this point when that that game should have just been such a slam fucking dunk? I think you cut out for us. Oh, uh, I said. Oh, I, I heard you. Oh, I was saying, I don't know how that happened when this oh. game should have been such a slam dunk. Oh. Oh, is your audio dead? Well. Uh, well. I think we got a little bit of having a... technical issues currently. We're oh. going to take a little break, I guess. That's a shame. Can you hear me? He just left our call, and is he back? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yeah. Yes, you just kind of cut out, and then... Oh, uh, wow, what happened? Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. You you cut that, out. <laughs> that's staying in. All right, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't too long, I guess, yeah. whatever. So what were, what, were, what were you saying? Uh, How it should have just been, an e like, the easiest bag humanly possible, and they, like, fucking shit all over the floor. Yep. It's it's so bad. It, and people are now even going back to because the numbers have increased since then. They're even going back to the EA Battlefront too. Oh God, that's bad. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's, apparently it's, it's pretty now, good but, now, yeah. but yeah, yeah. It's if if I'm I'm looking here at the PlayStation reviews, it's got a four point three one Star Wars Battlefront two. The Battlefront collection uh, has a zero point well three point zero five. So let me take a quick look at people are reviewing Steam that page. way better. Because I think the PlayStation review thing just came out like the last year. I always again, I always love these games that come out that are just like that week's game that's like one of the worst rated games on Steam ever oh, for yeah. that week. Battlefront is the fourth lowest rated game on Steam currently. That's rough. It, that's wild to me i mean it's the same thing that happened with uh warcraft 3 yeah you know where it's it's a great game that they really didn't have to do too much to but they just fucked it up anyway just as a joke yeah it's literally like so... just knock out the best parts and smooth it over and send it out it's that simple <laughs> sorry so i looked i looked up battlefront 2 on steam and instead of clicking the collection uh, I'm stupid and clicked Battlefront 2, like oh, the original. Yeah. And and like I I was about to click off, but I saw my Steam review. <laughs> oh boy. And 
it was uh I, I had played for 134 hours at the time of the review. Right now I'm at uh Oh, 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 this is new. Okay, okay. so I, I just updated it. <laughs> that kind of spoils a later part of the story, but, um... Yeah, so I said, the best... I, I, said, I said, recommended. The best Battlefront game there is. And then I edited it after, after EA Battlefront 2 came out, and I said, yeah, still the best Battlefront game there is. And I saw it, and I just now edited it, edited it again, and said, wow, really? Still? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeah, no, All it's right. it is baffling. Let me look at the Steam just, reviews, like it's overwhelmingly negative for that on Steam too for the uh, remaster. Holy shit, that's rough. That's based on five five and a half thousand reviews. Love to see it. Um, trying to find another story real quick because I don't want to go into the Glasgow uh, Willy Wonka updates just yet. You guys want to talk about Gamer Geddon? Sure. Oh boy. Gamer Two Electric Boogaloo. I don't know. I didn't hear what happened with Matt Walsh. I don't. I don't care. Uh, I. Well, mean, we could talk about it, but I. Yeah. I you know, I didn't care. Um, yeah. They, so the the thing yeah. with Matt Walsh, we can get over that really quick. He, of course, because he has to grift. Well, well, a little bit of background. In the back, in in the background, what? My brain stopped working. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, in in the past, Matt Walsh has written articles before about how oh, I don't care if they're fun, video games are bad, even for adults. Like violent video games specifically. Yeah. And y- you should watch the Chris Reagan video on this. It's like called "Video Games Are Evil Again," I think. I think and so. And it, it's, it is so very clearly written by someone who knows absolutely nothing about video games. Someone who doesn't like video games, probably because they saw the, like, fucking Mass Effect sex Fox News thing mm-hmm. or something. And he's, he's very vocally and stupidly not liked video games for years. And then, a few days ago... Or I guess about a week ago, I think. No, a few days ago. It was like five or six. About a week ago. In between a few days and a week. Uh, he <laughs> posted this fucking video on Twitter. The radical wokeness of the video game industry. Where he, he goes on and on. And he still... He, he says video games need to be less woke. <laughs> I don't think at all in the video he even... He he even references his old articles where he doesn't like video games. Well, well that, see, that, the that, biggest shame of this is that Elon Musk is tweeting about it. Yeah, yep. Elon Musk quote tweeted it and said, uh, "Video games need to be need to get rid of the the woke BS. Uh, getting lectured with tedious propaganda is not why people play games." <laughs> so the second tweet Bane posted here too, um, yeah. it talks about the sweet baby company, and I know like with the Gabe episode, we made the joke. We were like, "We're gonna make it our." Uh, Half in the bag, the Batman, where it's like, oh yeah, we're totally gonna talk about it next time. But um, I, I would stick to that if I didn't get a chance to make fun of Matt Walsh, Elon Musk, and uh, of all people, Boogie. Oh yeah, that's true, Boogie, and apparently uh, Ricky Berwick also. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, there's definitely. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of people that are writing about this that are just lying. Uh, you know. It's like you'll there's a lot of fucking articles that are coming out that are just like the evil gamers are at it again and I'm like wow you people just I do you, I guess you want a gamergate too don't you like some of these websites you know clickbait websites they probably want to just stir up the shit again so well, yeah they'll, they'll get probably engagement. do the thing it, Yeah the thing, and the thing is, uh, it's, it's all running on engagement and every like all of these fucking people are bloodthirsty for it because it'll get engagement. Well, yeah, but then, you know, on top of that, you actually look into this company and, and they're definitely not like the fucking be all end all of like get wokeness in games. But I don't know. They're like apparently networking with a lot of companies that are kind of, you know, prominent like EA and, and whatnot. And, 
And there are statements like from the one of the main women involved worked on a game that's got like a bunch of you know it's it's got a bunch of stuff that's like wow you you're not one of those people that likes white people are you you know cool cool dialogue like that and then um and that's that's a game on steam that has mostly positive acclaim by the way Which, what's the game uh i don't know if i want to say the name you can bleep it out it's validate it's like a dating sim that's oh, okay. sort of okay well, i mean like in indie stuff it's like, it is. I, I, it is. Yeah, I, I don't. But, I don't really care if it's indie shit. I, but these, yeah. you know, this is a woman who works at this company that is, and then the another one who, uh, another one that like CEO of the company. There, there is that like I think it was a TEDx talk or something, where she did directly say in like kind of a joking way, but she was like, just financially convince the people you're working with that it's in their best interest to di to make their games more diverse or something like that. So it's like I don't know. The, as always, it's somewhere in the middle. There's definitely some fucking shit going on, but yeah. I don't know. Is Sweet Baby secretly or or orchestrating every video game that you don't like? You know, there's a lot of people that are like, they're the reason the Suicide Squad game was bad, and like I I don't know, like, attributing them them to that in some way. I don't know like, if that's the, the biggest criticisms I have of that game are not the story. It's mostly weird community decisions right now that's been my biggest problem yeah no it's not really the story and i mean like looking at there was a video i saw someone talking about today where it was i think this this the woman uh the aforementioned one who uh, had that dating sim yeah. uh sh she was talking about one of the things that she was like consulting not not what she was consulting on but an example of like what she might do she was playing paper mario and the origami king and she was like, oh, I like everything about this game except for the combat. And I was just like, okay, so it's not even like a, a social justice thing? Like, what this company... And there's other companies like them, too, apparently. Yeah. They're just one. But it's a, but, it's like a consultancy yeah. group. And, yeah, and, and yeah. it's not even just like a... Di like, it would be one thing if it w was just like, okay, here's how you could make this more, you know, socially aware or something. Yeah. Uh, that would be something. But it is, like, also just apparently, like, they'll come in and just be like, yeah, we don't like your combat. Change it. I, I guess. I mean, Which is like, I, I don't combat think... fucking sucks, though. Yes, that is it's fair. It's god-awful. I'm 100%. I'm if this lady but... could go back in time and change that combat, <laughs> I'd give her a million I, bucks. I, I think that's fair, but, you know, it is also, like, I don't know, as a creative type, do you really want to just hire these people on to be like change this and make this different and yeah. and cut this and move this level here and tighten up the graphics on level three and I don't know man uh, but yeah no Matt Walsh and the the new wave of fucking grifters that are coming out of course I mean it's like there's the you know the people I would argue Sweet Baby is left wing grifters they basically position themselves in in a in a, in a place in the industry. That's more or less, I wrote this on a comment on the video I saw earlier, more or less it's like, it's, they're like the V ideal of like an idea guy who just, their career is just, <laughs> make it more my way, please! Yeah. And like, that's how, that's what they're paid for, that's such a, and they did it by being all like, you do it or you're racist, I guess, so it's like, it, wow, what a great grift you guys have, allegedly. But then, of course, you got people like Matt Walsh, and, uh, you and know... Boring... Uh, and well, everybody like that, yeah. yeah. You got a... The, the, the culture war is on, we're, we're lighting the fires. Uh, and some people, it's like, I think they... I, I would say some people didn't learn their lesson the last time, but I think maybe some people just learned the wrong lesson. Because they learned, oh, we can make a lot of fucking money off of this if we just, you know, spin things in the right way. Yep. Eventually, people are going to get sick of trying to fucking parse whatever the truth is, and just like figure out that. Eh, I guess I like Matt Walsh more than this other person, so whatever he says is right. Probably, he wouldn't lie to me. I'm sure. Yeah, it's like I, I, I'm diametrically opposed to be on whatever side that uh, Matt Walsh is against. I'm. Yeah, it's 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 like a reflex. Yeah, mm. uh, like it. If you tell me that all of these fucking, like, people like the quartering and all that are on one side, I'm like, yeah, instantly, I'm like, I kind of want to be on the other side of that, no matter... Yeah, but personally, the, yeah, I want to be on that side. That is the... 
that is the trap, though. I mean, do you, that's yeah. what happened last time. Everybody got radicalized into one side or the other, and, you know, that didn't really work out for anybody who didn't get paid for it. You know, that didn't work out for anybody who wasn't Kotaku or Breitbart or someone yeah. affiliated with are, one or the other. Are, are the kind of people who took money with, like, you know... Sex for favors! It's secrets! I, I mean... I mean, Chris Reagan said it, and I, you know, I, I'll leave my implication on the table. There was a lot of money being thrown around, and if yeah, if there's a lot of people who, if they had ten percent less morals, would have definitely taken that money. And some of us looking back, who will look at that money and think like, "Huh, yeah, could have made that." I mean, yeah, no, I mean, shit. We look at our our podcast here, and like, boy, this would have been. I look at my own channel, I'm like, how was it, how did I not think about doing this sooner? Are you fucking kidding me? I could have been, like, bigger yeah. than Leafy by 2016 if oh, I just we've... started this shit in, like, 2013 or something. We're, we're mentally no. about four years behind every... <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, such a simple concept, what I do. I'm just laughing at stupid people on the internet, but it's like, no, nah, it took me until fucking 2019 to figure out. Yeah, good for well, me. Well, also, it's one of those things that you're actually good at. It's a lot of people have had that idea and have been utterly unsuccessful. Like, yeah. There's about a million people who, who try, but the, the, the clever people come out on top eventually. It just sometimes takes some time. Yeah, or you get lucky and find the right, the funniest possible retards. <laughs> and then no matter what no matter what you do to mishandle the delivery of that people are still like well man this is a good video he sucks but man he laughs crazy. at the funny haha people yeah exactly yeah, yeah. I, I think i think with the sweet baby thing though like at the end of the day it's the companies that are bringing sweet baby in yeah so that's whatever they're, they're a it's a bit less firm it's up yeah. to the companies to hire them. They don't. They they can't just come into a place randomly. <laughs> yeah. So like in, in in that case, I think I would be like wholly against the people who are shit pissed about this, with the sole exception of the people in charge trying to like remove the uh, like the steam curator that was saying that. You know, yeah, that was dumb. I mean, getting, getting, you know, well, informing everyone what Sweet Baby had a hand in. That's what it all comes back to, though. I mean, it is like a, it's very different than the, you know, if we want to, if we want to call this GamerGate too, you know, the original GamerGate then was like started with, Zoe it was Post. started with Zoe Quinn and Sex for Favors, multiple good reviews for. You know, whatever. And, you know, who knows how much of that was necessarily true, but that's what sort of, that's the, what's, what's, what launched the ships. And here it's very different. It's, um, but it is similarly, like, un unrelated to what the ultimate image of the thing is. Like, it's, it's, it's very different from what it actually looks like in, in practice. It's like, starts out with just some guy on Steam is like, hey, this company, you know, I personally don't like what they've made, or I don't even know, maybe it was a positive thing. It, probably not, but it was like, oh, great company, here's a list of games they've made, you know, and people follow it, and apparently they decide, you know, they, they decide to Streisand affect it, yeah. and, like, make a whole deal out of it. And then that's when, like, the journos take over, and they start making it into... Well, they did it, too. I mean, like, the people working yeah. at the company, they started by being like, oh, they... They're attacking us and harassing us and whatever, uh, and and then yeah, it turned into GamerGate too. And there's there was a million articles about like the the game the evil gamers, the right wing gamers tying shit to Christchurch, tying shit yeah. to like. And you talk about Matt Walsh hating video games, but there's a lot of fucking rhetoric on on this side that seems to essentially be like games are for violent white men and like games will radicalize you there's a whole thing I, f I forget what it's called it's like speak up or listen up or something it's it's some sort of like think tank or s some sort of weird fucking group like that i don't know 
and they have they have similar like goals and they were connected to this in some way and they're apparently funded by fucking US homeland security yeah. uh as an effort to like figure out ways to um figure out ways that people can be radicalized through video games and game design and it's like oh yeah i trust i trust that my government only wants to do that for good reasons right and it's not that they want to like do anything ne nebulous or nefarious with that information right yeah, yeah. and so, so there's a lot of weird fucking rhetoric on on both sides and uh, i i don't know I, I i hate to be the boogie in this scenario i mean i think a lot of people are too fucking done with this we're we're going to get into boogie next but I think a lot of people oh, are too boy. fucking done with this to give a shit. That's kind of the default stance for a lot of people, but I don't know. I do still kind of give a, give a shit because I I like I like video games, and so when I, I look at it. all this, I'm like, man, I just I would like it for people to not have this happen again. You know, not have it, this is just dumb. This is just really dumb. I mean, the whole circumstance is dumb. The fact that. A bunch of people, a growing and more diverse community of people playing games too. I mean, the 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 old mindset of it's just like dorky white guys or whatever is like it's like less relevant by the day, you know. And yeah. and so for there to still be a bunch of articles coming out that are like all these hateful racist gamers or whatever, it's like come on, dude. That's so regressive. That's so that sucks. That just sucks that we're still here. We've yeah. learned fucking nothing. I'm so I'm so mad. It, it's, yeah, that, that's, fucking, that shit's always stupid. It, it is sadly going to be cyclical though. But thankfully, Boogie has finally come down on the gamer game Bo issue. Boogie has finally yeah. committed career suicide. Yes. Well, no, per it's perpetual fence sitter on the topic of gamer game. It's, Boogie two nine eight eight. It's so funny. Boogie one four eight eight. His whole thing in Gamergate. I didn't know anything about Boogie before Gamergate started, and then I only knew about it because of him. Or I only knew about uh, him because of that, and 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 his whole thing in that was. He wouldn't fucking, like, he kept both sidesing and being like, Oh, but there is harassment going on. Um, but, um... And everybody, uh, consequentially, everyone on both sides were just like, Shut the fuck up, you idiot. Oh, yeah. Fucking figure out what your fucking opinion is, or shut up. What are you doing? Well, and he was like that for a while. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess suddenly hanging out with EDP than dating a 20-year-old at the age of, I think, 45 may have changed some things in his eyes. That's right. <laughs> he's going through the midlife crisis just like our podcast. Oh, he's, he's hitting that midlife uh, it's, crisis it's not mid Yeah, it is not midlife. Yes. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. If we want to be real, this is more like into life crisis, but... 49. Okay, I was wrong. Not 45. 49. Boogie, what is that haircut, man? You gotta change that. Yeah. I mean, he did say at one point that he thought that there were rapists and Nazis out there who are more redeemable than his trolls, because at least they're doing something they believe in. Uh. Um. Uh, um. Uh, um. A little intriguing. <laughs> You know, okay. at least Al Qaeda is doing something that they believe in. Yeah, yeah. At least, you know? at least the brave fighters of Amush indeed are doing something they believe in. <laughs> at least John Hinckley was doing something that he believed. <laughs> yeah, in. you know, he, that's actually true. John John Hinckley has more uh, into like internal fortitude than Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. He also lost to Wings of Redemption. <laughs> Oof. It's amazing how Boogie continues to somehow be relevant. Cause like, yeah, I, I guess he was a. When did he start on you? He was like two thousand nine or something. Uh, he was one of the really early ones. His his yeah. channel was um started. Uh, good question. I'm taking a look here. I want to say his channel technically started in like two thousand six. Yeah, April fifth, uh, okay. two thousand six, when he started the channel. Oof. Uh, but his earliest uploads might be a little later, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, oldest, he, he was around... Oldest one is seven... Well, it's not really a real upload, but there's a video of him doing Dungeons and Dragons in September 2006. Wow. Yep. 
Yeah, he's been around for a fucking long time, but like again, I only became aware of him during Gamergate, and then ever since then, he somehow managed to just like. Ma he's like in a video game, like as you progress through the game, and like, wow, how are the shopkeeper from the first area? You're back again? Wow, why are you here? <laughs> like, how did you manage to be relevant in this scenario again, Boogie? Wow, what, what a surprise! Small world. He just keeps like somehow showing up every uh, every you know couple months, and there'll be like a new documentary or some new scandal. Or, yeah, he'll just tweet some stupid shit. Or someone will shoot at him or whatever happened. No, he, someone came to his house and he shot near them. I remember yeah, that now. Yeah, uh, that was Frank Castle. Yeah. Frank Castle, sorry. I By the that. way, did you... I, I think I think I posted it. Did you guys see the um, the recreation of that photo that uh, Rocco did? Oh. Uh, <laughs> fucking uh, Rocco body did, yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, if you want to repost it again, it's, it's fucking good, though. I... Yeah, uh, uh, I, I, I really, like this, I really like, like this image of him eating with EDP because it's like... They're, so they're sitting there, and there's like 400 McDonald's burgers and a bag of Doritos and mini donuts yeah, and, like, and like three... There's like three bottles of 7-Up and a can of Coke. Holy yeah, shit, that, that's people. The, that's the skinniest this, meal for them. This is like the big smoke order. What the fuck? Uh, but, um, but but well, there but, he is, right there, big smoke. <laughs> it is him, yeah. But Boogie is like Boogie is like there, and he's it looks like he's talking, and EDP looks like he wants this fucking cracker to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just wants to eat his food and maybe text a minor and not have to listen to Boogie anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, I, very, it's a very, a very funny image. It's a good I, reaction image. I, I don't know. Uh, they haven't released this, as far as I can tell. Um, which, hey, this is this, this podcast isn't sponsored by them, but go use 4K video downloader to not give them a view when this does come out. Uh, yeah, oh, just, just download it and rip it. Doesn't give them a view yeah, or a watch. Oh, that's great. Oh, I do uh, that. I, also, I do that all the I'm time. People particular... I don't like. I I also really like uh I, I, it, it's changed names a little bit. Give me a sec to get the actual like the current name of it. Right. Uh, oh geez, what is it? YTDLP. That's a goat. Yeah. Mm. I just use Y2 Mate. Yeah. I, 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 I use um. I just use 4K video downloader because it's what I've been used to, and BUI isn't entirely shit, and it. Gives you up to 33 downloads, which it used to be entirely free, which kind of sucks. But 30, yeah, that's why fine. I stopped using it. Ah, 30 is fine for me. I can, I, 30's I, I, fine, but sometimes I get to those points where I'm like, I want like music. I want it all. Yeah, <laughs> I feel that. Did uh, we even say, is also okay? Did we even say what Boogie's take on New Gamergate was? We did not. I have it in my clipboard. Yeah, we didn't. Also, yeah, we didn't read the Elon Musk tweet here. He, we read the first one. The second yeah. one, he mentions. This is well, this is really cringe, though. I mean, I don't think I like Sweet Baby very much, but he he. The tweet goes: Sweet Baby Inc. It's is rough. an evil blight on the gaming industry. All they do is make games terrible and try to cancel people. They cannot go broke soon enough. I want to play the Rugrats theme over that. Uh, that's that's just very. I don't know. Just shut the fuck up, Elon. Stay out of it. What do you even know about anything? The dude doesn't even know how to fucking run any of the websites he runs. You think I t take your fucking word for it on any anything else? Shut up. Uh, also, that feel when you're just trying to play Tetris, but the game goes woke, and and uh, that feel is gun. Can't believe it. Can't believe they can't believe they made rock woke. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> comma, yeah. Um, and the boogie tweet, yeah. Ha Hot take: Video games are supposed to be fun. Is that is that it? That, that's, oh wait, um, that's, that's no, no wait. I'm, I'm sorry. There's there was a different one. Yeah, I thought he said something else. Because the other one started with hot take. Hmm. At least I'm I'm pretty sure it did. That's such an obnoxious way to start your fucking tweets, dude. It is. Oh, it's wow. like on 4chan okay. when you used to do the. Um, God, you know what? The worst threads on 4chan were the ones that were like the the like shitty troll tier lists, and then it would go. So it's settled. We're all in agreement, 
and then it was just like 500 posts. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm close to it. He's posted a lot. Okay, oh, okay, all right, all right. He found it. So, the tweet that I posted is a modified version of this tweet from a few days ago. This one is hot take. Video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures about why being a white man is bad. Sorry yeah, about which... that. I, uh, I read the first line and I was like, yes, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> so, which. Well, I mean, I agree. Yeah, but also. He, what like, games you can't do really, that? You can't really name a game. Like, people ask There's him to no... name a game. Yeah, I people. Mean, several people have asked him to name one game that does that. He hasn't named a single well, one. I could name one. It's the one I mentioned earlier, Validate, but it's also a like an, like indie. an indie game. Yeah, no, there's not really any big AAA shit or anything that's you know like that. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're not playing. Of people, most of the people that are making games like that are not really being forced to. You, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um. So like. You, you, like you're you're not going to be playing fucking the new Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. Uh, what's the one that everyone plays? The, new uh, t- the Tom uh, Clancy game everyone plays. Um, Siege. Rainbow, Rainbow Six, Six Siege. Siege. Yeah, you're you're not going to be picking up Rainbow Six Siege two, and there's going to be a like a, a fucking forty minute diatribe about. Uh, actually, uh, you need to check your privilege. God, saying yeah. that out loud, saying that out loud made me fucking. Ugh. Mm, Tastes mm. something awful. Oh, um, yeah. It also it did let certain people from uh, the Gamergate days chime in, and well, one of them is <laughs> a, is a hood classic in my mind. Uh, do you remember mm. fucking um, Short Fat Otaku? Holy yeah, shit. he's been making the rounds because I've Holy been watching. Yeah. Some, shit. I've been watching some other people talk about it, and so I've been having this thing recommended to me. That's like, I guess, a podcast. It's like two hours of him explaining it, and yeah. I'm like, wow, didn't get. I wasn't. Didn't he pretend to be camera lady or something? Thank you. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. He, did. <laughs> he, he wrote some other a, shit with him. I he don't pretended remember. to be a fucking woman for nudes because I, I mean, look at him. Well, He's yeah. ugly as sin. I'm I'm being nice, but it's for, been for, a for, decade. For, He's been that for, ugly for, for listeners. A decade. For listeners, I mean, his, his name, name is Short, Short Fat. Fat yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's a very good descriptive, descriptive name. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. I think I don't think I've ever seen him or anything. And I don't know. I don't know anything about him actually. Like maybe maybe he's fine now, and maybe he's grown up or whatever. You know, uh, we've all changed do, in ten years. Well, I want to say we've all. I want to say we've all changed in ten years, but I'm kind of learning that that's not true. Not at all. No, like, <laughs> do you want me to break the truth to you? He's literally the same. Oh, uh, well. As annoying uh, as he was back then, too. He, he hasn't gone through any character development. I don't really. Poor fucking guy. I don't really have any recollection of him back. Like, I knew his name, but he wasn't, like, somebody I watched, or he didn't really he, make any waves he, or he anything. He hung around in groups that I hung around in, and. I guess so. Let, let me. I'll get a little inside baseball here and just say they were snickering at you, not with yeah. you, buddy. They're snickering uh, at you. I mean, listen, the whole era was a dark time in many people's lives, which is why it's very funny that some people seem to want to go back there. Oh, yeah. The, I'm it's like, I, the last thing I want, I listen, a lot of, I met a lot of cool people and, and like you guys during Gamergate and, and, yeah. and not all bad stuff. Good memories, too. A lot of funny posts and, and good moments. But Jesus Christ, I don't want another one. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that, that's... Who the fuck wants another Gamergate? What are we doing? It's, it's kind of like 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me land. Yeah, there's even there was even more casualties than 9-11, yeah. Uh, honestly, I'd rather have two more 9-11s than one more Gamergate. <laughs> Fair. But it's, it's kind of like 9-11. quote. <laughs> it's kind of like 9-11. Where like can we just, can yeah, we just you... make that the description? Just you know, Gamergate. It's kind of like nine eleven. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. That's that's so fucking. <laughs> it's nine eleven <9/11 laughs> for gamers. What's I saying? It's kind of like it's kind of like nine eleven, and the fact that like a lot of media afterwards kind of like focused on the togetherness of the American people. Trademark as long as you're not brown. Uh, yeah, and. 
it's it's kind of like oh hell you know i'm nostalgic for how patriotic everything was back then a little bit i wouldn't want 9 11 to happen again oh. i wouldn't want 9 11 to 9 12. no that would be bad yeah and here's i guess one thing i'll i'll personally say to kind of wrap up my feelings on the idea of a gamergate 2 and all of the people on on both sides invested in this um, but especially people like, uh, fucking Shorefat Otaku, especially, and gr- fucking Grums, the dude who, uh, completely oh, failed God. at- Oh, God. Yeah, the guy who failed at making a game, tanked it completely, and then wonders why no one will give him money to make a new game Every- again. He came up another time on the podcast. Oh, yeah, he, cause he was the He's one- the Starfield, was- uh, he was- Oh, yeah, he was. That Starfield's title- No, he, to-, to be fair, he was right, ultimately, but he had no way of knowing that he was right. You know, he he said the Starfield looked like it was, like, soulless and empty or something, which, you know, yeah, fair, but he was basing that on the title screen. Yeah, like, it, it, it was just a UI decision, and Bethesda's always had relatively simplistic UIs, at least since Skyrim. Yeah. Well, I guess technically since Fallout 3. I don't know, I think, I think the idea of the Pip-Boy itself with, like, the screen and stuff makes it kind of unique. Yeah. The HUD was really simple, though. Oh, um, but yeah, no, like, these people don't want to see anything fixed, they just want to, or fixed or changed, they just want to make money off of it, and the faster that people realize this shit, and don't, like, don't give them the click, literally don't give them the click. Yeah, I mean, that's the best option, but, you know, then there is stuff that you want to learn, you want to know about, you're like me, you want to know about the scenario, you want to know who to trust, so you have to give someone the click. That's the way that that's the way that they get you. I'm I'll close it out on my behalf by saying check out the stream that Medicare did recently at the time that we recorded this. Uh Shit, where yeah, he, I gotta watch that one. He talked about it and he talked for like a half hour or something about this scenario and he I pretty much agree with everything he said about it. Well, m- maybe not everything, but you know, gen- the general gist of it, yeah. And he wasn't really getting too much into the, you know, the Matt Walsh's of the thing, but like, you know, yeah, there's a, there's a baseline of, yeah, well, there's like a, definitely a weird thing where it's like, we're all supposed to like, I I don't know, I guess feel sorry for this company who's like soul, I mean, even in the best of circumstances, they are like a company that's designed to come in and change a creative work. And I'm like, why are we supposed to think this is a good thing by default? I don't know. This is very odd. It's a very That's like, fair. I don't like by, by default. It's a, it's a oh yeah, no, but like, I don't know. Yeah, by it's like a very odd thing for people to have to be like defending this. And I'm like, wow, this was like not even a concept like ten years ago or something. A, a diversity gaming con- consultancy firm. What? All right, you know. I mean, time moves fast. I guess. Hey. It would t- fast enough to get us two Gamergates for the price of one. I remember Gamergate is like a fucking genus of ant or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 No, I'm. I'm. I'm so ready to not deal with culture war shit ever again. Yeah, I. I, I hate it so much. I hate that the online space compels me to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I. Uh, Instead of culture war stuff, are you ready for the the like real high art stuff? I got some Willy Wonka experience stuff. Oh hell oh, yeah! Oh, An update. Got three updates here. Uh, first, I only have one. Uh, which one do you got, real quick? Uh, just tell me the headline. It could potentially have four updates. Organize well. Well, the the, the organizer is a bit of a uh, a bit of a spoiler, but the the word um ruined is in it. Mm. Ah, okay. I might not have that one then. Ah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll pull it up after yours because this is kind of recent. All right, I'm also within the past day clearing out tabs, but I guess I opened in between this. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the first one I've got here is the organizers are truly sorry for the mess while the families still wait for refunds. So yeah, uh, effectively. Well, I'll keep being sorry. Yeah, so some of these stories are a, a tiny bit sad here. A mother suffering from terminal lung cancer is among the customers trying to get their money back after attending the Willie's Chocolate Experience in Glasgow in February. 
Um, oh, good. That's yeah. really sad. Yeah. The thing is, you never wind up scamming people. It's like the people that are like mass shooters. Yeah, you, you never wind up killing like the village drunk or like the town pedophile. It's always like six grandmas and fucking you know like what what come on yeah it's like you, you, you scam like the 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 nice old lady with lung cancer you don't you don't scam like the the nft guy you know yeah. in town come on like why not rip off the guy who like owns a chain of hvac system like repair things that dude's <laughs> loaded or, a, or like a landlord exactly oh perfect perfect exactly predator yeah you fuck a yeah cop in la in the 90s <laughs> Better yet, specifically, uh, Ready May and Fannie Mac, the financing companies, rob them, <laughs> rob those fuckers. The fucking Rothschilds, please. A hundred percent. George Soros <laughs> and the Koch brothers to keep it equal. Exactly, yes. especially the Koch brothers, and make them do cocaine with you. Yeah. Well, that would be too nice for them. But you Actually, can do yeah, cocaine right. if you want to. Just, just, just force enough up their nostrils that they they go into cardiac arrest. It'll be fine. Exactly. You better, better yet, just do cocaine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, that is the best <laughs> option <laughs> here. Exactly. Um, let me see here. I've got uh, a second part to this story, but that second part is that the unknown, that the girl behind the unknown, a sixteen-year-old known as Felicia, um. Who is the actress behind it? Um, She has been offered and accepted to work for uh, essentially a a Scare Factory franchise called London Dungeon. Oh, Um, that's cool. Yeah, so um, she apparently is going to be um, scare training in, like, her first scare training thing there will be in April, and she's going to start doing stuff there with them. So honestly, respect, because... I mean, the the unknown is Some the people only got something good out of this. Yeah, yeah. The, the unknown is the only thing the AI has been able to create. Really, like it's the first genesis of an AI creation. Yes, exactly. and it's it's it, its name literally means I don't know what the fuck this is. Like <laughs> this could be. It's anything. great. It's perfectly emblematic. <laughs> oh man. Uh so I'm I'm looking here. Um. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find another thing. I, I I tabbed open a third thing, but I'm trying to find it in my fucking history because I guess I closed it. Well, I guess I'll go with mine then. Yeah. So this is this is recent, but uh, this is from the National Dot Scott. I didn't even know that that was a URL. <laughs> uh, Glasgow's Willy Wonka organizer says life ruined by event. Good. Uh. Hey, that happens. Yeah. I mean, I don't know I, I, if it's good that your whole life is ruined, but, you know, you should have a bad couple of years or something. Yeah. Like he is just going to have a bad couple of years. It's like there's a there's a scene in Seinfeld where George says something like, I'm going to hell, and and I think Jerry's line is like, well, I don't know about hell, but you're going to run into some bad dudes. <laughs> That's what this. That's what needs to happen here. Maybe not hell, but like you're not a, you're not like a pedophile or something. But like you know, Next. something. You could run into some weird guys in an alley or something. You know, you're you're yeah. going to have a broken rib or two. Okay. Yeah. Fall off a a, a roof non lethally. Yeah. First story. Maybe <laughs> yeah. second, depending on how you've been. Break uh, maybe maybe like, maybe survive. yeah. If 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 you're a bit weak, maybe like the carport. Exactly. <laughs> So, um, he, there, apparently there was a, uh, a Channel 5 documentary on it, which I'm guessing, you know, like BBC 5 or whatever. Uh, he says, my life has been turned upside. My life is ruined. My life is like a video game. game. Uh, life, thank you, Ronnie Red. Life is like Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> he, he continued... It's not a nice feeling to be under the microscope. I was getting hundreds and hundreds calling me the most awful names, saying I'm a villain, I'm a horrific dad, I'm better off dead, I should kill myself. No, <laughs> your life is worth nothing. <laughs> no, but um, the the funniest the funniest part of the quote is I was devastated and I was sick to the pit of my tummy. 
I had a oh. whole host of emotions. No, oh, he, had, <laughs> he has so many emotions. And I'm he's poor me. <laughs> His poor little tummy hurts. Poor well, maybe guy. it's all the haggis, buddy. Get out of Scotland. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you defending, haggis? No, 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 no I, I, I haven't eaten haggis, but still, Scotland's cool. I like Scotland, though. That's it's fair. Mostly Scottish. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really have any more stories. All right. Well, I have a couple. All right. Ooh. Um. Well, really quick. Yes. This is just your quick drive-by thing. Uh, Ben Shapiro. Oh boy. Yay this... or nay? <laughs> nay. Yeah, nay. You gotta, you gotta, gotta say, but, not but a fan. Mar- not Mary a Kill, fan of Mar- Mar- Ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro, and Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Not a fan of the short little gremlin man. Got to be honest. Not sure pass Ben Shapiro. <laughs> so he said, "Yes, if you are physically, uh, mentally, and physically healthy, the taxpayers should not pay you to retire at sixty-five. When Social Security was created, life expectancy was sixty-four. Today, it's seventy-eight. Also, people require purpose. If you can retire and find purpose, go for it. For many, that's a bad idea. Essentially, the 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 man who sits behind a desk." And talks at people with a camera on him all day yeah. is wondering why the hell people don't re- want to retire earlier. Yeah, it's it it's exactly the kind of out of touch thing that like someone who has not been in a day job ever. I mean, his parents were television execs. I mean, like he he's he's a very he's in a very cushy place. You know, he's a very safe position and. Yeah. No shit, he'd be confused why someone at 65 working probably 30 to 40 years in the labor market, in the labor force, would want to say, hey, I'm ready for a break. Wait, you're telling me Ben Shapiro isn't a self-made man? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shocking, it's, it's, I know. It's surprising. I really thought that he pulled himself up by his... I, You know, someday somebody will have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He pulled himself up by his yarmulke, and somehow that made him fly. It <laughs> defied physics. <laughs> well, apparently, apparently some physics is being defied here, because Ben Shapiro tried to argue for it, like, so hard, that he looped around to actually being really fucking based. Hell yeah. So oh. at the end of, like, a three-tweet-long, like, reply chain, he says, Fine, fine, I'll make you a deal. We can keep the retirement age 65, as long as we make that retirement age mandatory for our elected officials. <laughs> yeah. Bravo, Benny boy. Jesus You Christ. said something cool. <laughs> Wait, what age? 65. Yeah. Okay, so, and that's how the oldest you can be? But that's, yeah, yeah so that's as old like, as politicians should be, which, hey, I'm, I'm 100% with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we we I'd, we. Yeah, I'd had... say seventy maybe, but sixty-five makes sense. Yeah, Even se- oh, yeah, seventy is pushing it. It's weird that seventy is fine, actually. Yeah, we, I mean, we 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 currently have two geriatric old fogies battling for the White House, and they're probably gonna. It's it's just gonna be twenty twenty again. Please Guys, give us a Gamer cutoff. Gate two and twenty twenty. Well, twenty sixteen too. Even I mean, not technically, but. Only sixteen. God, more Trump. It's it's more Trump and Gamergate, uh, and and wokeness and grifting and uh, everything you like. More of it. It's the se- the hottest sequel around. It's like Assassin's Creed too. <laughs> you don't want to die as much as I do. That or I Assassin's hope Creed not. Forward, the dystopia. Dystopia. <laughs> uh, oh. Speaking. Of, well. There's a little bit of dystopia left, but really quick, I just want to laugh at uh laugh at Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, the CEO of X, Linda Yaccarino, mm-hmm. which that's a pretty cool name, honestly. It's a, great name. it's a pretty good name. Posted a video that says, Video is the future, X indispensable. And she says that X is becoming a video first platform. So they're not going to be Twitter anymore? Yeah, I guess they're going to, like, a YouTube slash, like, Ugh. YouTube slash Facebook. So they just yeah. wanted it to be a new website, basically. Yeah, they could have just made... An... 
a new website, but instead they're doing all this crazy shit. And mm. the the funniest thing is they they can't become a video. Twitter cannot become a fucking video first platform. Are you fucking kidding me? I have three tweets in my bookmarks that are just full movies. They've been uploaded months, and one of them was uploaded almost exactly a year ago now. Huh. They haven't been taken down. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for I them. Can watch gonna the, be... I can watch the fucking Spongebob movie anytime I want on think Twitter. Of, think about all of the other, like, uh illegal content like beheading videos and shit are just probably going to be left up yeah yeah they're just going to be left up i i i kind of really like that song it's a good song it's it's it's, you know what what can you it's it's just yeah it's the way it is uh no yeah no i don't understand twitter video uh i mean you know they they can do a little of that sure but like their fucking platform barely works for that. You try to link it, you have to like change the URL because it sucks. Yeah, it doesn't work yeah. on almost any app. Um, constantly, movies just get uploaded here, like full films. Yep. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Dude, I watched fucking. I literally watched Across the Spider Verse on Twitter. <laughs> nice. I did not give Sony money for that movie. I saw it on Twitter, and you know what, Sony? If you're mad at that, uh, tweeted Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah, call 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 him a retard. It'll be really exactly. funny. Call call him call him. You'll, you'll have all the you'll have all the GamerGate two people behind you. Hell yeah. I I would be down for <laughs> that, that. Sure, that'd be funny. So um, you got anything else before? Because I, I think I think this should be the last story because we we missed it last time and the time before. Uh, well, mm. well, you we kind of missed it last time. We, we we talked a little bit about it, I think. I don't really have anything. The, the only other thing, um, did, did we talk about people um, hating on the Mons Pubis thing? Oh, God, no. That happened, like, right after we recorded the yeah. last one. We gotta talk about what? that Twitter discourse. Uh, okay, so... I, you know what a Mons Pubis is. It's, it's the fat pussy area, right? It's like the bump or whatever. Yeah. Um, Some people think it's a bulge because they've never seen a woman be, be, before. Because right? they've been, yeah, you, like, you've, you've summed up this entire fi- fucking thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. It's, this is another Aloy controversy, isn't it? Another women have hairs on their face? What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it's essentially more engagement farming, but it's also like the dumbest kind of engagement farming. Mm. Because. Like what? What are you pretending that you you hate like good pussy? <laughs> it's fucking baffling. The funny thing is, I've seen this exact like original tweet before too. It's a woman's like belly pooch, I guess you would call it. Yeah. And she's wearing a tight skirt, and the uh, the caption is, "This is so unattractive." Imo. I M O. And uh, first of all, wrong. Yeah. And second of all, uh, I, I, I swear to God, I've seen this before, like a few years ago, and everybody dunked on the person who posted it. Well, it just reminds me of that guy like a year ago or something, the dude who ha- who like freaked out about women who ride horses, like complaining that women riding horses means that they're like... Uh, they're masturbating while they're r- riding a horseback or something, and mm-hmm. some whole insane fucking conspiracy. I don't know. It was another one of these like, someone actually believes this kind of things, you know. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that guy had a whole book to ask Gabe about it. He he did. Oh, a, he, I think he had a. I think he bought it or something. I don't remember, but it was called Reigniting Your Masculine. F- Frame, uh, no, masculine flame. But it was a thing called, it was it was ma- reigniting your masculine fl- uh, flame. But it was a, a concept called masculine frame, which made it very confusing. Uh, but mm-hmm. yeah, it was a whole thing, and so <coughs> I would assume this is maybe a, a similar type of mindset. I don't know. Man, it's just a very strange thing. I I I, I, I like. Because people, I'm stumped. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I, he's, my he's, brain he's, can't work. He's stumped. He's stumped. You've 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 killed me. <laughs> you've rendered me inept. You even put like, under. Well, I already was inept, so that's that's unfortunate to hear. I don't know. Let's let's, let's move on to the other thing that I'm just completely baffled about. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, y'all, y'all hear about Boeing? Uh, oh, do? yeah. I have. I'll let you go through on this one. Um. All right, fill in the details for me because I, I, I've, I've, I, I haven't seen I haven't seen everything. Uh, and so, uh, to really preface this, we have to go back to the 1990s. Boeing was a really good company at one point, right? And then the airplane company, right? I, I don't airplane, doubt it. Yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, so here's the thing, right? Uh, they had decided to merge with a company. Um, I can't fool uh, McKinsey, McKinsey Douglas, I think is the name of it. Someone Ooh, will correct okay. me. Uh, but they decided to merge with them That's because familiar. it made sense, it was financially a good idea. Uh, and then they decided to take the execs of a failing company and put them in charge of Boeing. For some ah, reason. Ah, of course, as you do. Yes. Then led failing to... Failing upwards once again. Oh, this is like, this isn't just failing upwards. This is like going past the fucking stratosphere into the fucking, like, past the sun. Like, you, you failed. Actually, correctly. more accurately, it's, more accurately, it's, more accurately, it's plummeting into the ground. Oh, that, that's... Well, uh, well for that guy, it's, it's a, a, an immense form of success, but... Yeah, they um yeah. they started union busting. They started doing a bunch of other tactics, and then started uh, shoddily and quickly doing work. And eventually, Ooh. all of those little chickens came home to roost. Uh, because recently, there's been a number of in in the last three fucking months too, which is more absurd. But in the last three months, there's been so many Boeing issues, like a door plug falling off mid flight. Thankfully, not high enough to where it ripped people out. But still, it's fucking absurd. Yeah, that that's that gonna be a fucking problem for your fly your plane company. Yep. Yeah, I saw one where one of the landing gear uh, wheels just fell off as the plane was taking off, and it crushed some cars in the parking lot. Yeah, neat. it literally it like me of... a Final Destination Five fucking murder just happened in that fucking parking lot. It reminds me of when I was a kid. My dad talked about this. Um construction project i guess that happened throughout a lot of vancouver in the 90s where they built a bunch of these houses and then they learned that i guess it was like a really terrible company that did it so there's just tons and tons of houses throughout all of bc or all of vancouver at least that were so just horrible dives that were falling apart they looked nice on the outside but they were like the plumbing was fucked they were the floors were falling out from the fucking so yeah, you build planes, and I'm sure they look fine, you know. And Boeing is like one of the only names I know in planes, right? Yeah, there's yeah. Boeing, Airbus, and then there's some lower ones. Yeah, it's one of the main fucking dudes. I I wouldn't expect their shit to be, you know, this busted. Fuck. This but... fucked at least. Like if fucked, I mean, it, would, it shouldn't be this fucked. Yeah, I mean, like like the seven four seven is like the most iconic plane. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe besides like the fucking Wright brother, Wright brothers, Wright brothers playing. The Wright bubbins. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> you don't want the wrong bubbins. I really don't. Good lord. It's just baffling that like, you know, inherently the point of manufacturing planes is to like have planes to fly and stay flying. You you don't want to yeah. like yeah. you don't want to skimp shit. But. Well, you know, if the plane breaks, then they need to buy a new plane, right? So exactly. there you go. It's that simple. They're, they're, they're trying to nail this out of a park and planned obsolescence, but planes, planed obsolescence. <laughs> oh. Also, um, that's the episode title, people. Planed obsolescence. Also, um, this is just something I saw on Twitter and. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of interested. I'm I'm only want to see a couple of these in theaters again, but they're going to release re-release all eight Spider-Man films to theaters. I saw that movie. earlier. I just saw that, and uh, you know, I want to see Bully Maguire of a live screen. I like big fucking theater screen. I would, lo- uh, yeah, I would, I would love for that to happen. <laughs> to yeah, see I that, guess I would watch that. I think the uh the first one's coming like next month. Uh, yeah, April fifteenth. 
Which, God, I gotta get my tickets up for that shit. Mm. But yeah, they all they also just banned asbestos. <laughs> oh yeah, they oh, finally banned that asbestos. Long, huh? Yeah, pr- presumably because that's what Boeing was lining their airplanes with. Oh. oh, by the way, they also killed a whistleblower. They Epstein to that motherfucker. Oh yeah. Well, all right then. Dystopia. Boeing. Boeing is really they're <laughs> they're. <laughs> <laughs> They're crashing this plane <laughs> with no survivors. Hopefully, <laughs> with some survivors. Yeah, oh, a little survivors. You know, there's enough. I preferably survivors. Enough to get angry. <laughs> oh man. Well, I don't really have anything else. Uh, oh, uh, Stone Toss got doxed. Oh yeah, he looks like Dan Schneider. He's a fat Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like Dan Schneider. I can't unsee it. Yeah, we, we can't say his Speaking name. Speaking of which, but... apparently, we, we were talking about this before we started recording. Apparently, Dan Schneider was in fucking Vice whoa, City. Whoa, 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 that's, that's, that's supposed, that's not, like, I, I'm not sure if that's, you know, public information yet. Whoa, well, I, mean, I thought it, it was a it, tweet. It, oh, it, it was, it was on the uh, IMDb, Yeah, it's right? on the, it's, it was on, it's, it's on the GTA wiki. It, it's, it's public info in a way. All right. Because when I googled it, yeah. it was it was there, so it's like, all right. That, that, that was sent in a DM, and I don't know if that's like... But yeah, if, if it's on, like, the wiki, all right, yeah, apparently that's true. Yeah, insider I'm about, to go, about to go and look. <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah, it's... I, I, ain't, I ain't got anything else. <laughs> yeah, I don't really got um, much. Um... I'm good. Yeah. Um. With that, I, I I should say, folks, we've got a Patreon at loud equals well, uh, Patreon dot com forward slash loud equals funny. Uh, go there for early content and soon uh so some exclusive for possibly months content, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> every 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 so often there'll be just a Silent Hill part too. Hey, hey. I mean, if it got one person to come and check it out, that's something. Hey, yeah. But, uh, God, yeah, no, it's been a wild time. There's wild stories going on, and there's always more interesting, weird shit coming up. Yeah, I, I kind of wish it would just, like, nonsense. stop. Wish it would slow down sometimes. Yeah, just, just like, just g- g- give us a couple weeks to talk about Halo or something. Yeah. We're never going to run out of shenanigans, but it would be nice to have... Yeah, because there's always shit happening. I'm like, when can we do our hyperfixation where I just talk about Sonic for three hours? Uh, I'm down yeah. for that too, honestly. Not, not anytime soon, because Elon probably did something. You know. I, I, I think because we're, I'm planning on moving us to the new channel with episode forty. Mm-hmm. So, uh, folks, there will be a link in the description to the new channel. Yes. Okay. Go uh, there. Description or show notes. soon they won't be here. Yes. Um, it, and it, if you're not there, then you won't be. Uh, be here. there or be square. Exactly. Yeah. If, if, if you're not there, I'm going to morph you into a square. It will be, be so. You will be, be there cured. or you're gay. <laughs> we will turn you in like how J.K. Rowling used to turn you, like turn people like Dumbledore and your mother gay. <laughs> we'll yeah. do it to you too. We'll go in. We'll go into the notes and write it in. Yes. Weird how she hates trans people when she is so cool with transitioning her characters from being non-gay into being gay, <laughs> <laughs> or white into black. With Hermione. I mean, hey, they're doing their best there. Or tra- transforming her lore into wizards used to shit themselves and then wish it away with magic. Yeah, the classic. <laughs> I cannot believe she fucking tweeted, like... <laughs> I can't Real wizarding shit. lore. That was the start of the Twitter downfall, yeah. <laughs> that was the last good Twitter moment when <laughs> everyone was just making fun of it. <laughs> oh, yes. well, that, that uh, has been episode 35. I think... 35? Oh, no, not 35. I'm... I'm you're good. L- listen, listen. We're deep into we're our not, midlife crisis. We're not old. Really. We're not old yet. Yeah. We're no, we're pretending. 
we're gonna do the thing now. The next few episodes, we're gonna lie about our age. We're gonna be like, "Hey, I am still 29." Yeah, I'm. I'm God I'm playing, damn it! I'm playing a 28 for five more years, baby. Yeah, the next few fucking it. ten episodes are gonna be, and then we're gonna move on into. Look, I'm still 30. I'm still in my 30s. All right, yeah, I'm still. I'm um. I'm just on. Um, I'm almost I'm 40. On, I'm only 32. Thank you. I'm only 32. <laughs> Also, re real quick, I just—I guess we'll bring this up because I just saw this. Twitter is getting real desperate. Subscribe to Premium to write your own longer posts. Write longer posts and apply text format formatting such as bold and italic. Oh, did you know that they're starting to do pop-ups if you block ads? Like, if you like go to the like settings and block the advertiser. Oh yeah, like the account. I, I've seen that, but that like that makes more sense than that. This feels like you're just grasping for everything. Yeah. Man. It's fucking wild. That's embarrassing. I'm in pain. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. Yay. <laughs> I don't know if anybody hears that, but there's clapping. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it does pick up the Discord soundboard. That'd be funny. Just put it a couple sounds funny. in the server. Couple claps, yeah. Just spice up the recordings. Exactly. Well, uh, episode thirty-nine. Go uh, marry someone half your age and buy a a Corvette. Everyone, it'll be great. Yeah. Uh, this has been loud equals funny. Hell yeah! We're loud. We're funny. We are. <laughs> Let's just cut it already. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Oh, penis. <laughs> yeah.